everybody. Hello. I'm so excited, Vicky Bill. It's Expo Dave. And Vicky Bill. Hi. And we are here. Oh my gosh. We are here because we know that you guys wanted this so bad. And so did we. Yes. We missed it as much as you did. We sure do. It's our first mega make and take. How our about that? Virtual mega. I know, virtual. Make. Yes, the first one of the year. So, and more to come too. So. Right, right. But we're so excited. And we know that you guys really were excited because we sold 700 of these. Quick, quick, quick. And I told you. In so less than an hour. <laughs> I know, I know. So you lucky ones out there that got it. That's awesome. And boy, we have a great lineup today. And you know, Vicky. And really fast, yeah. no worries, because we're going to have more coming up, you know, coming. I, a lot of you have uh, messaged me and said, it sold out so fast. I didn't get a chance to, you know, so exactly. we do have more coming up. So there'll be opportunities for everybody to come and join and it's, it'll be so much fun i know i know we had people we know that said oh i've come to the mega for so many years yeah. and and so just we will let you know to make sure that when we say it's going to be this day at a certain time that you'll be ready to right. click 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 and so. don't worry because all of the mega making takes that are coming up all of the projects will be different yes yes every every mega make and take even if it's a company that maybe has done this one or in, in the future, every project will be different. And I know that we have some themed ones coming up later yes. in the year that are so, so exciting. Excited. And we've gotten to see a couple of sneak peek pro projects rather for those too. They so, are so cute. Yeah, so we're so excited. But you know, um, people always, you know, at the shows, when we would have the mega make and takes and people would always say, this is my first mega make and take. And once when you would go back and check with them, um, they would say, oh my gosh, you know, I saw this company. I've always heard of this company and I didn't realize they had this product. So right. it's always a great way to um, get to know uh, either a new company or right. even a company that you, you associate with a certain product. I mean, just getting these kits we learned so many new things and I new know. and new products so that they have so. we, we were talking because we get to now actually almost be a part of each you know mega make and take or each yes. class or each what and we're learning so much as we're watching we're like yes. oh my goodness because usually we would have to be working and checking everyone in or making sure yes. they have their, their kits and so it's really nice to have this aspect for us yeah, <laughs> really, and of course the shopping part, of course. So oh, yes. that's that's yeah, been yeah, our. Yes. I think that's been our. Uh, I'm going to say upfall. Exactly, <laughs> and yeah, that could be scary when the uh, boxes keep arriving at my house. Uh, yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but you know, the nice thing about this too, Dave, is that uh, I know a lot of um, the favorite parts of our in-person mega make and take was the deals that were happening that night of that, and today we exactly. also have those deals that are coming up. Yes, so. I know each company is going to have a great special yeah. and some uh, they'll be telling you about uh, not only their projects that they're doing, but those extra products that they have and, and even some additional demos. So you're getting, gosh, even though you're going to get your kits, um, you know, you're going to be working on the, your kits that you got, you're also going to see some different ideas and some different projects. So boy, you're exactly. almost getting two for one. Right. So. And the deals. So yes. that, but as a shopper, I'm like, I start itching <laughs> thinking of all the great deals. Yes. <laughs> well, and remember at the Megas, you know how, it, and it was always so fun. And, and I know everybody had fun doing it. As you know, they would come up and you get that certain time to get those deals. Yeah, you know? And exactly. you had to get them and get them and wait in line. And you know, oh, my girlfriend hold this or whatever or yes. hold that. And now, gosh, you can just sit and you'll get a special code to get those deals too. Right. So, and it's still fun. And you don't have to yeah. get in a big long line. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know. And you can take your time, but, um, hope, and you know what? I bet your girlfriends may want you to pick something up for them too. Exactly. So. Exactly. You know so. what though? We do so miss you guys. And we, I think Dave, I just want to, it was so much fun. The excitement on the Thursday, Megan, make and take and just yes. hearing the doors open. And just seeing the first, you know, guests coming in, I always got so like excited yeah, every yes. year, didn't you? Like, it, it was the beginning of the show, whatever state we were I in. I know, and everybody had everybody happy. felt so excited. You know, they they waited. I know, and we got to see them first because they, you know, they would come on Thursday, 
and get in line. It was so nice to, you know, we'd go out in the hall to get a yeah. drink or something. And it was so nice to get to see everybody, you know, yeah. and, and they were all excited and we right. were in there getting the bags together. Right. And now, now we got to spend time getting the boxes together. Right. So, right. and it was, you know what, it was a lot of work getting the boxes together for everybody. But boy, I'll tell you what, it was such a joy because we knew how excited that you guys were going to be. And that really is what gets ex us, us excited too. Exactly. So, um, exactly. so yes, so, so the mega so is just fun. all full of, it's just all full of fun and joy all the it time. It is. So. And I, I love, I, I know I keep on going back to the memories. That's all right. I'm cheesy <laughs> like that. <laughs> but you know, year after year, when you would go back, you would meet so many friends and, and yes. so to see your friend again, you know, from the year before, and you know, just seeing that, knowing that they're coming. It was that connection for everybody. Yeah. yeah. And not only for us, but I know the Megas um, was a place where even people connected through, they might get on a Facebook group oh, and yeah. looking for people. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you might sit, even even you might come in and sit with a stranger and, and see. So, right. um, and you can still, you know, you can still do that. Make those connections on, you for know, sure. Facebook. And, We've heard so many groups that have been Zooming. I yeah, know Dave's yeah. been Zooming with, a few uh, groups. And yes. Isn't that fun to it, do? It is. It's it's such a nice connection. And, you know, uh, even the groups, the groups that I'm in now, those are all of them that used to get together and yeah. the two groups and they were so active with doing, you know, the contest and the, t you know, decorating tables and everything. And, yeah. And just enjoying that, that mega make and take and getting, you know, settled in for the weekend because, um, you know, we had everybody there for all three days of the mega and then the two crops so right so much fun yeah we'll get yeah. back there but this is still a really yes. awesome awesome i mean the oh, box yes. is so cute yeah the pizza box i yes. love it it is so neat with the sticker you i would say this just for a storage yes solution it's such a nice box yes you yes. can keep you know other projects in there after if you you know once you you do these and you exactly. give them away or add them yeah. to your scrapbook. Yeah, or you can hide your pizza in there too. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really love this, the whole thing. It's just so pretty. Yes, it's, and you know, like you said, it's a, it's a way you can, you can even store your, gosh, you know what? Maybe you're going to be, you know, well, I, we know that you're going to be making memories even doing the mega. So you can, this could be your little first at home, yeah. make a make and take memory box. Yeah, and so, you are the very first ones to be doing yeah. this, so. Hey, exactly, man, I know. Awesome. And, and all the projects today, you know, They're somebody so says, cute. well, I don't do this, I don't do that, you know. All the projects today, you can incorporate into any of your, any of your, uh, your projects. You know, maybe if you just like to do cards or scrapbooking or, you know, um, uh, a DIY. So, right. I mean, you know, um, we're going to be doing a project from um, uh, Creative Creations. Creative Creations. The Diamond Dots. And yeah, that, the box comes like this. Yes. And then you're going to be doing Creative Creations. So and, pretty. And, yeah, and you know, and that is a card. But gosh, you could use that on a scrap in your scrapbook page. So you could frame it. Yes, that could be the could, that could be the front. You could put that on the front of a scrapbook. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Yes. And then the next one that we're going to be doing is it's cheaper yeah. than therapy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that's that going to be a beautiful, beautiful birthday card. card. We, oh my goodness, this card is gorgeous. I know. I love the papers that we're you're going to be seeing. So right. And then after that is. Keep it simple, and oh, we yes. get all yep. of this in this paper keeper. Yep. It's going to be a, a page and two cards, so right. that's great. So nice. Yes. And then we have Elizabeth Crafts. Oh boy! You get this beautiful. Yes, and you're going to be going under the sea with uh, Miss Els, and it's such yes. an adorable card. You're going to love it. You're going to love, love it. That. Yes. Oh yes. my goodness! And then last but not least. Yes is be creative. Yes, we're gonna have cupcakes at the end. Boy, you know what? What a better way to finish our first mega make and take than with a dessert. So, <laughs> true. but I'll tell you what, every project in this pizza box is certainly a main course and we are so excited about our sponsors today. So everybody sit back and relax and get ready for the Creative Creations project. So we'll be back 
in just a little bit and join you again. So Hello, my name is Caitlin. And I'm Courtney. And we are Creative Creations. Today we are showing you the Diamond Dots Black Star Grading Card, which came in your kit. It looks just like this. Um, so you want to get that one out. It's got a little cute little Diamond Dot symbol, and it should have our sticker at the top with our name and our website. And we're just going to get started and show you what comes in the kit and how to set everything up. So we're going to start by opening the kit. All right. And you get all the tools that you need inside of your kits. So inside the little front cover, there's a quick little instructions. That's super cool. And then I have my greeting card. There's a plastic film over it and you can open up and write inside. And I have an envelope for the greeting card. And I have my beads that are pre-sorted by shade. And there's a little piece of legend right here. Yes. You're gonna want that piece. And then you have your little toolkit and some baggies as well. So that toolkit, we're going to start by that. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And you're going to grab your clear tool. And you're going to grab the little round, um, let's say it's a little, you know, finger soft, gripper, yeah, finger gripper mm -hmm. piece. It kind of looks like this. So all this is, it just goes on the pencil, like just like a pencil. You're just going to kind of twist it on maybe. And it just goes just like that. And that's just somewhere to rest your fingers while you're doing your diamond dotting. So that's all that is right there. Okay. And also, so that's what you use for the to move the beads. Yes. And also in your kit, there's some other items. Like that's in this little cute bag. I have my resealable bags. And I have my tray. This is what your beads are gonna go in. The resealable bags are for your extra beads if you want to save them for later or for another project. Um, I always like to save mine. And then um, you've got this little pink square of wax. Mm -hmm. So it has film on both sides. This is just enough. This is actually more than enough for this one kit, yes. which is awesome. So to make your tool work, it works with the wax. So I'm first going to peel off just one side of this wax. It's a little tiny film. I'll put it flat on the table just like that. And I'll take my tool and I'll go all the way down, twist once and all the way up. Mm -hmm. So that's how the wax gets in the tip of the pin. And as you'll see here, there's a hole in my wax. That means it worked. So mm -hmm. there's, you got the hole, that means you did it correctly. Yes. If you don't, if you don't see through it, that means you gotta try again. So that, that tool is filled up with the wax mm -hmm. and you can move the beads as we'll show you maybe up to 300 beads until you have yeah. to repunch. All you do is repunch down again and keep going. So this is not something you, you have to do every time you put down a bead. Correct. So that's yeah. awesome is that it stays in the little container here at the tip of the stylus and you keep working. Yes, it will stay in there as long as you're picking up a light touch and setting down with the light touch. So let's now start on our project. So here I'm first going to review what came in your kit. Just so you have everything that you need and that is awesome. Just so we can get started here. So first you had your packet that had everything in it. What I liked about this packet, it was cut in half on the front just because it shows you kind of what the finished sample looks like versus what you have here and that is really cool to look at. Here I've got my envelope that my card will fit in. Even with the when we put the beads on, it will fit in and it can still go in the mail to mail to someone. So that's super awesome. Here's just my Ziploc that my tools came in. I like to have my things organized. I've got my resealable bag. So these are just super tiny bags to put your extra beads. And I'll show you about that a little bit later. And I've got my stylus tool that we've already set up. And if you just wanna double check that you did your tool right is if you look at your wax square and there is a hole that you can see through, that's how you know you punched it all the way and you did it correctly. I've got my bead tray, which we'll talk about. I've got my cards here and I've got this packet of beads. So let me set this stuff aside. I'm gonna open up my packet of beads and it's got my legend key in there, I see. All right, so first, right on top, I see my key. So if you'll see, these have serial numbers, A01, A02, and so forth and so on. Those correspond with our bead colors. So our bead colors here are all connected 
just in a row for convenience. They used to come all separated and just to make it easier for you, the customer, they've connected them. So right here, you can see my A01. You can also see 80, oh, sorry, 8100. That is that individual color's number. So you only need to worry about that 8100, which they also give you here. If you wanna double check that you have the right color, and if you're using that same color on your other canvases, or you want to use it on a different design, that's what you use. But right here on this project, we're just worrying about these really easy blue numbers like A01. Right here, it says my grid sign. So within my diamond dots um, card, you'll see all these tiny symbols, right? And they show up so nicely on my camera too. So all these tiny symbols, that's the symbols here. So I like to think about this as paint by numbers, but with beads. So right here, I'm gonna go back to my thing. And the first one I like to start with is A01, just to be easy and kind of because I'm OCD, is this purple square with an H in the middle. So you don't really need to worry about the purple. That's just letting you know that your A01 color is gonna be purple. So that's just a little clue there. But you're really just looking for that H. So if I come to my canvas here, let's see. I can start to identify some H's. So there's some along here and they go around. So you'll start to see them if you start to focus. Um, if it's your first time, it may take a minute to realize that there was symbols there this whole time, but they're also where that purple was we were talking about. It's also around the H. That way, if you miss that circle, yes, these are round beads, so you don't have to worry about lining up a square. You're just getting a circle on a circle spot. So that's what we're doing here. So why it's purple around that little H is if you miss it by a hair, that's okay. You can always push it back. Or there's that purple printing. So it blends in and no one made a mistake. So how this adhesive works, this is a very, very tacky adhesive here. And that's why you can see there's, I have a plastic film that's very thin but you, this is the most important film that you will have in your life is this plastic film that covers the diamond dots and that's super awesome. So if I peel back this film just a little bit and you don't really wanna touch it, but for demonstration purposes, if I start to touch this, it is very tacky that is sometimes I can get it to hang on to my finger and it will just hang there. So that's super cool. So that's how tacky it is. is your beads will never fall off. As long as you're not picking at it or putting it um, in a drawer and letting stuff slide against it, these beads won't come off. So that's awesome. Especially when you think about you're gonna be mailing it in the mail, the beads will stay there for when the person gets it. So that's super cool. So to start, now that we got all those little things out of the way, I'm gonna peel back this film. And because I've identified I have some H's in this top area, that are super easy to get to. Instead of peeling back the entire film, this makes the whole canvas exposed. So if I have a pet, a dog or a cat that's coming around, they're gonna wanna come over and sit right on your design and it will stay attached to your pet forever. <laughs> so we don't want that. Um, so to avoid that, because anything in the air, honestly, a little hair comes off your shirt, a little debris, it will stay attached to the canvas. That's how good our adhesive is. So just to stay safe, and because we love to keep things organized, I'm gonna take my film again, and I'm just gonna place it underneath. I'm gonna start it underneath where I saw some H's, right under that, and let the rest flow. So do you see that? I have the rest of this covered, and I have this top area just exposed, just to keep my canvas safe. So that's such a great tip. So if you have a larger canvas, you'll find other people that maybe will cut the strips and move them around just to keep these unbeaded areas safe. So super cool. So I'm gonna start, as you should, with A01. Now you may be thinking, is there a rhyme or reason to this? I get that question all the time. So when working on a canvas this small, or canvas a card this small, it doesn't matter. You can work your way outside in, you can just pick random spots because it's so small and you can move that film around very easily to control your area. I just start with A01 and work my way down the grid. 
So that's super easy. If you have a larger canvas, I like to start with one corner and work my way out. And if there's lots of colors, you can get lots of these different trays and have your colors ready. So you'll see about that in a minute. So I'm gonna start with my A01. Now usually it's perforated right here in the middle between the two packets, but so I don't make stuff explode, I like to use my scissors to cut where that perforation is. All right, just so it's separated. And then I will cut a little corner. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in our tray. So this is super cool way to pick up the beads instead of just having them on your counter is to have them in this super cool tray. And I'm only pouring out about half the beads, uh, a little bit more. And then because these are flat back beads, which means the flat goes flat on the adhesive, so you wanna tap on the round side, which means you want all of these round sides to face up and make it easy. Now, right now they're all kind of jumbled in a pile, which is not very fun. So to, I have a little trick I like to do is I hold the tray flat on the surface and then shake it back and forth, spread out, and then up and down, and then you'll see that they start to line up inside their grooves with the rounded side up. So they are ready to be picked up, which is awesome. So over here, I'm gonna make sure I remember I'm looking for that H, and I remember that it's up here. So with my tool, I'm gonna lightly tap on the rounded side of any one of these beads, just straight down or an angle, either way it picks it up almost magnetically the way the wax works with the tool. It's very easy. So now I'm coming up here to my H and you'll see that. And just with a very light touch, I'm gonna just tap it down. Now I see I missed my mark a little bit, probably cause I'm getting a little nervous, but I'm just tapping it down right there and that's it. A very light touch to pick up and a very light touch to put down. Now, why I say light touch is because if you push too hard on your beads, then your wax that was in the barrel will come out. And that's, we don't want that. That means you have to keep repunching. And remember I said, you only have to repunch like every 400 beads or when, when the wax wears away. You'll know that when the beads stop picking up and it's super easy. So Courtney here is gonna keep working on the project and beading it as you should. And I'll keep explaining what keeps happening here. So as she's finishing these beads, when you're done with that color or you want to be done with that color, you'll know when all of your symbols are covered up. But sometimes I miss some marks and you don't mean to because you, because I think, oh, I did it perfect and I'm OCD, so that's how it goes. But sometimes you miss it, but it's okay to have extras. I love having my extra beads. So over here where I have my beads in my packet, I'll put my extra ones, I'll pour them back into a resealable bag. Thank you. Into a resealable bag right here. And so what I'll do, I'll just take that, I'll put my extras in my bag for my tray, and then I will also fold up my packet that my beads came from and put it in the bag. That way your bead number and that color number are with this bag to identify these beads. So if you go to use these on a different project, or you realize you missed some, you know exactly what beads you need to look for. And that's an awesome way to keep an organized system. Now what's also awesome about these beads is they can be used on other projects. And that is amazing because they're flat back. Now I use just about any glue, any glue that can be tacky, but I do recommend our new Diamond Dots Dot Stick Adhesive, which is the exact same adhesive that is on this greeting card. It is awesome because you just put a little dot on a card that you maybe made or a page, and then the same way you're doing your diamond dots, you just tap down a bead, and it's so easy to embellish other projects, and that's awesome. Now, a little bit about our company, which I know still we're fairly new. We've only been doing um, the shows just for a couple of years, but we are loving going, but we're missing y'all, so we get to do this from our home. Um, but a little bit, if you've seen us, you know we are a family-run company, which is awesome. So we, you get me, I'm Caitlin, and Courtney, and then my mom and grandma. You've probably seen us at the shows or at the demo tables, um, just trying to get as many people as we can to see our demos and our amazing product. Now what's awesome about this, as you're working on your project, you may see that it's actually quite relaxing. I think that's super cool because you're not even paying attention 
It's very mindless. It's not like cross stitch where you have to count the beads or the placements. That's what makes it so easy. So I can do my greeting card while having my show on and I can listen to it and have a little drink over here. And um, it's super easy to work with. Now, if you do have trouble seeing, um, I do recommend getting our dots light or if you have a light board yourself. That is so awesome with our canvases and our greeting cards is because if you can't see the, the symbols quite as crisp as you used to, you can put it on top of a light board. You may have one of those alt lights, which I think everyone has, and I love my alt light, and you'll have it go on top of your canvas or your greeting card, and you think, ah, that should do it. But actually, you want to have light coming from underneath. If you don't have a light board, you can test this out with your greeting card by turning your phone light on on your smartphone and holding it underneath, and you'll see the difference it makes in being able to see the symbols much better. So that's just something to think about while you're beading. If this is something that you're interested in pursuing, then that might be a good investment for you. Now, while she's still working, um, you can also do this with friends, which is super cool. So I know this is a small greeting card, but if you're gonna work with friends on like a larger canvas, you just need to get more tools. And then we have accessory packs where you can get more of the toolkits, which is super awesome. They're $3.99, that's such a great deal. But so you, so you would have one friend work at one corner and you work at the other. And that's such a handy way to have like a little diamond knots party. And you may be thinking about the ages for this. So I have little sisters. So my little sister is six. She started diamond dotting when she was four. So depending, usually when it's a little girl like that, they can sit a little more concentrated and it will keep them quiet for a quite a little, you, at least half an hour, you can keep them quiet, which is an awesome little babysitting technique there. Um, but it goes all the way up to 99, I say, because this is so easy to work with and we have all the extra tools to enhance being able to see it and um, to help your Diamond Dots experience. Of course, if you have questions, just throw your question down there in the comment section because we are trying to watch the comments at the same time. But this is so awesome because this is just a little card, but the pictures have such a variety. And we've even expanded to have pictures that work with all kinds of people that have with different interests. So we have um, Disney and lots of other new designs that you'll see in our next video. But I do wanna point out that this also works with the men. So if you do have your husband that needs to get off the TV, which I've said about my dad, he, he has made a couple of our, um, some of our samples from the new um, Marvel collection, which is awesome, that they really get hooked on it too. And it's so easy to um, get other people involved. So we do have designs that will attract other people such as men and like the football they love the football and um the star wars and the avengers so i think that's so awesome and i've actually used this as a family project so even if you have your whole family if you want to get a couple of these cards for everyone to have their own card and then you sit around the table and diamond dot and just have your own little group project going on that's super cool if you want to get a larger one that you end up wanna, wanting to hang up in your house, then you have everyone start at a different corner and just work on it. Now, you're, we gave you this whole card, which is a lot to do, and you won't probably finish in the video, and we know that because Cordy still isn't done with her purple yet. But that's okay because it's definitely something for you to slow down and take at your own pace. So you've got this larger product to work on, outside of the make and takes being done. And I think that's awesome. So if you do have any questions, please leave it below. And we will have our specials and showing all of our new diamond dots in our later, later videos. So we really appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day.
Welcome back, everybody. Oh my gosh, Vicki, wasn't that an awesome project? Oh my gosh, it the beauty so in those awesome. diamond dots. So awesome. I love these these diamond dots. I know. I can't get enough of them. Well, and you know, I I mean, you know, just watching that, you know, I, you know, I've seen them at the shows learning, but you know, one thing, you know, I made some notes here of some things that I learned for this card. And one is, is, you know, when you do the tool, you know, all you gotta do is push it through and make sure you exactly. see the other end. Right. And it does 400 little dots. I right. mean, and I know there's a lot of diamond dots on there, but gosh, you don't have to keep going back and forth. How I easy is that? that. Yeah, um, that was really neat. Yeah, and, I love that. Yeah, and, and, you know, some other tips that they did, like when, with the card, that they were working on or any of their projects. I like that, you know, they had mentioned about just pulling back yes. this far enough just to work on it right. and protecting the other. And, you know, we both have pets and I know if I did this project with my cat, my diamond dots would look like cat dots, I think. Because exactly. of all they have here. I also love that they added this fun and comfortable little bumper for your fingers so that it um, is comfortable while you're working on it. So I can envision myself watching TV and just going to town on this project. Yes. So, I mean, that would be so good for my, just my creativity and all those things that would just be so fulfilling. Exactly. And you don't have to grip this like, you know, you're no, writing yeah. something. It's so light, you know, She actually weight. said to do it and really soft. Not, you don't have to do it hard because then you're going to have to keep on refilling. Just boom, soft. You know, exactly. Yeah, you're not having to drill it in there for sure. So I love too that they have this legend. Yes. And these little extra baggies so that if you didn't use all of the little um Yeah, the diamond dots. The you diamond could, dots, yeah. you could store them safely in here. And I loved how they said show the the number and then you could use the key so you would know like if you you know, the color. Yes. It was, that was really neat in that part of the video. I love that. Yeah, and two things, the other, there's a couple things too that I liked is, is that, you know, this does, I love, I used to do paint by number and color oh, yeah. by number. So this is right up my alley. But what I also liked because I know me and my depth perception is a little off, but right. this is one of those projects where it's, it's kind of safe to be that way because um, as she told you is, and, you know, if you don't get that diamond dot right on there, mm -hmm. because that the, they've left enough room for that color overbleed, I'll call it, then, it, you know, the, it still looks great. You know, right. you don't have to worry that, you know, this pr these projects, all of their diamond dot projects are literally stress-free. And I think exactly. people, it looks stressful, but my goodness, like you said, just sit and doodly doodly do. And, uh, you know, I would, I don't even make noises. <laughs> um, but, you know, just like, um, I got some of these for my granddaughters last year for Christmas, and it was so nice, you know, um, you know, because even the little ones, um, uh, the youngest was able to do it as well. Right. So she had a great time. I liked time. how she also showed that you put your diamond dots in the tray, and that was genius because I, know, I yeah. always was like <laughs> trying, you know, and getting one. And all you have to do is put the little diamond dots on this tray and put them on a flat surface and just shake them like that. And I, then they turn round side up so you could grab them like that. I'm like, the genius. <laughs> well, and you know, and, and you know, like I was saying at the show, you see them and, and just like with the wax, you know, and that's one of those tricks that, you know, I had never seen before. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like, how ingenious to do that because right. When you pour the beads in there, of course they're going to be exactly. the other way around. Right, so right. that's not going to work at all for you. So, but and and you know, being able, you know, the, the leftover beads, you know, yeah. you, you can use the, you know, use that bling on some other projects. Right. You know, you just have to make sure that you know you have a sticky surface uh, yeah. surface rather uh, to do that. Use on. any adhesive and it'll stick. Yeah. And then I also like for those that maybe have a little bit of seeing impairment. You could have a light box under. She even said you could put your cell phone light flashlight yeah, under. Yeah. There's different tips and tricks. So everybody can make this. Your niece, your grandma, your husband. I know, <laughs> yes. All of them. Well, and you know, too, and, and coming up here and, and gosh, what, 15 seconds, you're going to see all the other great products yes. that they have. And they're, they're just so ingenious. So many different designs, different sizes. There's some jewelry, all kinds of goodies for kids. It's so, awesome. So enjoy their specials and we'll be back. 
Hi there, this is Caitlin from Creative Creations. We did our Black Star greeting card earlier, so I just wanna show you other designs that we have for greeting cards. I have ones like Blessings, Dad, You're the Best, Number One Mom, Welcome Baby, With Love, Happy birthday, and I especially like these accent beads at the top of the happy birthday. And cupcake, thank you. I do have other new designs also on the website. Here, I'd like to show you our awesome pin back buttons. So here's some examples. They can go on your lanyards, on your shirts, on your crafting bags, they're so cute. This one says, all I need is a little coffee and a lot of crafting. Here, this one says 2020 Quarantine Queen. Here is 2020 Living My Best Quarantine Life. Crafting from home and loving it. I love how quirky these phrases are. Keep calm and craft on. Getting through quarantine one layout at a time and it's got 2020 down there. My quarantine workout with the scissors. That's so funny. 2020, the one where the crafters were quarantined. And here's, I got two on my lanyard over here. This says, I'm not a hoarder. I just need a bigger craft room. Oh my goodness. And crafting is my therapy. That is so adorable. And these are actually on the website for $3 each. That's such a great deal. These are our adorable little kits. They're about four inches by four inches and they come with an adorable little frame. I think that's awesome. And I like this really interesting packaging they're in also. So I've got Uniprayer, that's cute. And Crab, oh, he's so cute. You do the crab and the background is printed. And here is the frog and the lion so these are so adorable and they're good for the little ages too here's some more cute ones here's let's play he's got a little soccer ball right there and ballet bear she's super cute love you to the moon and back rainbow feathers cute little hummingbird there love prickles and I Spy Kitty. Now these are still new designs that are um, about 12 inches by 12 inches, so they fit in a cute little frame. So here we have some of our brand new out of the box ones. This one is Rose Blush. It's a very cute pink rose with a printed background. This one's Magnolias on gold velvet, and it just has Magnolias on a velvet table very pretty and this one i particularly like this is country rooster very nice i would want to be i probably put in my kitchen here we have some very cute ones this one's a sweet raccoon as you can see it's a mom and a baby raccoon this one is kitty knits it's three kittens in a basket this one's really funny it's mr and mrs pink and it's two cats that one's got a bow tie. And then we have Koi Mosaic, which is just a koi fish canvas. This one right here is the Celtic Wolf Guide. He's super nice, so there's a peep at the sides also. And then right here, I've got the Tiger Smooch. Super nice with a really cool background I see there. And I've got Poppy Fields. Very pretty and London Parliament in Winter, which is a Monet, and Two Sisters on a Terrace. Very so here we have a very pretty Winter Rose Fairy. You can see how beautiful her wings and her dress is. She's very nice. And then we have some more scenery ones like our spring sparkle and you can see it's a very cute house with some very pretty um, flowers and trees around it very nice and then we also have another winter wonderland this one's very nice 
You can see this one's also a cute little house. And look, there's even a little snowman over here. And there's some houses in the background as well. That's very nice. Right here, I have the awesome NFL licensed diamond dots. And it's amazing for our football fans that you can make your own art and put it on the wall. And it's super easy. Just to show you an example, I have my chiefs right here where you do the helmet and then the title and the rest of it is like a watercolor background that's printed. Here's another example where the helmet and the title and even a little tiny mascot down here with the rest that's watercolor printed to match the colors of the team. So the three I'm showing here are the Steelers, the Eagles, and the Patriots, but I have so many more teams in stock and a lot on the way. So here are some cool um, Avengers and Marvel designs that we have come out with. You can see Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, and Spider-Man. These are very cool. You can see there is our Iron Man. There is our Thor. Look, he's even got his hammer. Here's our Captain America. Very cool with the full shield and everything. And our Spider-Man. So this is just an example of one of our ones that have been finished. As you can see on the box, you don't really see the sparkle and shimmer in it, and it doesn't really do it justice. So here it is in person, finished, and you can see how much it sparkles when I move the camera on the light. He is so cool. And that is a full picture right there. Very nice. So here are some more great designs. We have our DC Wonder Woman. Look how good that looks. And it says her name at the top, Wonder Woman. And here's for our Star Wars fans, we have the Millennium Falcon. That one's very cool. And here's our Star Wars Darth Vader. I like this one because it actually says Star Wars at the top. This is an example of our dossier. So it's got the nice Diamond Dots logo here. You flip it over, it's got a cute clasp. This is to take your diamond dots on the go. So I've got a super cute polka dot background here and some felt background there. And then down here, I've got my zippered portion, which holds my shoulder strap in my extra bags. These are what your extra beads go in and they Velcro in the felts up here. That is super cool. And I have other colors. So this is the black one. And then I've got purple and blue and pink so regularly these are $34.99 and they're on sale for these for today and tomorrow so with your coupon it ends up being about $27 that's such a deal for these and if you need extra bags we also have the dossier zip bags that are sold separately that gives you 25 more bags that's such a great deal so next I want to show you some of our Disney designs. So I have Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Eeyore. This is so cute. Usually if you buy each one separately, it would cost you about $67. We have this whole bundle where you get all four of these designs on sale for $59.99. And if you use your coupon today and tomorrow, it costs you about $50. That's great. That's over $17 in savings. These are our Diamond Dots bracelet kits. I think these are pretty cool because it's something different and it's diamond dots that you can wear and that's what's super cool and it's good for any age. So these are regularly um, $10.99. They're on sale on the website for $9.49 and with your coupon it ends up being about $8 and that's such a great deal for this cute kit. Here is my pets kit. There's three bracelets here. They're super cute. Here is my animal prints kit. And here is the love kit. So it's just three different colors that are just look really cute and they're definitely kid friendly. Wow, look at these Dotsy stickers. They are so cute. You get three stickers in every pack. So just like our Diamond Dots greeting card, you would Diamond Dot the same way, but when you go to use it, instead of it already being on the card, you peel the back off and stick it on anything. Stick it on a card, stick it on your iPad, stick on anything. That's awesome adhesive. So you get three in each pack, like I said, and we got lots of different designs. Each one, like this cute sweet pack, look at those. Each one retails for $10.99. They are on sale for $9.49, and with your coupon, they each end up about $8. 
Here's another example of my Dotsie stickers. So I've got more cute ones down here and some other designs up here that you can get for the same low $8 price. I also wanna point out that we do have the sparkle magnets that you can get for a great price online as well. So here we have our very cute Dotsie Diamond Art Kits. These are great for kids because they come with six small projects. As you can see, it has two bracelets, two small canvases, and two stickers. Another great thing about this is that they come with screw top lids with all the beads already organized for easy access. They also come with the bead tray and wax as well. And here is a girl package. This one has a heart, a mermaid, the two bracelets, and the two stickers. And then here is our boy package, the dog, the shark, the two stickers, and the bracelets. These are great for birthday gifts, holiday, and really anything. So here we have the amazing dot and frame diamond dots designs. These are simply so cool because your design is already in your frame. So all you do is simply do your diamond dot the same as you would and then just simply hang it up. So here we have the sunflower. You can see it's a beautiful sunflower with this beautiful shading. It's very sparkly. The next one I want to show you is this flower Mandela. Now, if you see these bigger beads on the, on the outside, those are actually accent beads. They go on the same as the smaller beads, it's just a bigger space to add a little more extra sparkle. Very sparkly and very nice. The last one I want to share with you is this gecko Pua. Now, you can see how many different colors is in this, in this, in this gecko. He is also very sparkly. So here's some more frames like Courtney was showing. This one is the Flutter by Pink inside of a frame. That is cute. And here's another one, Cat Lady, and also with a frame. I have another one right here. This is our Midnight Cat, very famous Midnight Cat that we have with a black frame. And I see a Believe in Miracles that is super cute, great for a present that comes with the frame. You may also be interested in our very pretty Stamp and Scrapbook Expo logo, which is diamond dotted on the pennants. There are many other designs that we have online, and I will show you some of the pre-orders coming soon.
would like to show you one of our classes coming up as we teach virtual classes and we have lots of projects also online. This one is going to be on the 30th, but the video stays online that you can order and go back and watch to be a part of the class. So let me just show you some of these cards. It says friends like you are harder to find than hand sanitizer. I think that one is so adorable. Here's some other ones, sending you a spot of sunshine. And here's another one. It says, hey there, sweet cheeks, just roll with it. That is so adorable. This is our cheerful Christmas card kit. So it's four cards that was gonna be a class. This is awesome because it's only $24.99 and you get all these items to make these four beautiful cards. So that's one of the cards. Okay. And then here is our second card from that kit. Very nice, the cute little lanterns. And this 49 Market card kit um, comes with four cards that cost, it's regularly $29.99. We have it for $26.99. That one's very cute with the lace and the Christmas tree. You can see the embellishment on the Christmas tree of the glitter, very nice. And then the fourth card in the kit is this little guy. And you can see we use another of the music sheets. Very nice. So this is what the kit looks like. It comes with all um, four, five sheets of 12 by 12 paper that you need, um, as well as the laser cutouts and two um, flower packs. All right, guys, first I'm gonna show you the Nouveau Expanding Mousse. This is an awesome product that you need in your craft room. So it's a medium that is thick, but it also can be made to be thin. What I did was just mess it with my spatula, you'll see. So the color I'm using for my Nouveau Expanding Mousse is white linen because it's cream, but kind of white at the same time. And it's a little bit shimmery, that's a bonus. So I have two stencils right here. This one on the left, I've already started to put a little bit of the Expanding Mousse over in this region. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this on my other side here, and we're gonna show you different things. So first, I like to put some on my craft mat. I'm kinda of gonna move it around just to make sure it loosens and it becomes easy to work with. I'll scrape it up with my spatula, and then I'll start putting it on. Now, if I was gonna do this for the prop, for a you know, project to send someone, I'd probably make sure I washi taped off these other sides also. So there wasn't any on those sides, but we're just showing a demo, so it's not that important that some gets over there. So that's totally fine. So I'm just moving it around. The nice thing about that, it, it's, it is thick, but like I said, I was able to make it thin enough to work with this stencil, and that's such the rave right now. Now, I also don't have to worry about being completely smooth with this expanding mousse, because what's awesome about this is when I heat it to have it expand, you want to have that texture. So I'm even going to go back on my white one and I'm gonna do like this. I'm just gonna hit it with my spatula a little bit while I'm holding down my stencil still so it doesn't move, just to give some bumps in crazy places. That will be more 3D in those areas that I just tap to give those bumps. So that's an awesome little tip there. So I did spread this around pretty good. Now when you heat this, it's gonna expand and puff up. That's super cool. Now over here, I wanna do something different. I wanna give it some, some color, cause it's white, which is like a base color that we can add to. I've got shimmer powders. Look at all these fun colors that I can add to my, um, my stencil. And so these are shimmer powders. I have so many more colors, I don't have enough fingers. <laughs> and what I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna use my Lilac Waterfall. That's probably my favorite one to work with. It's basically color in a bottle. So I'll take my lid off here and it's got a nice little nozzle. Now I'm not gonna squeeze, I'm gonna tap. So I'm gonna tap right over on my right side stencil. And this is something definitely easy to play with. Now I'm not gonna do too much cause you don't want the color to overpower the mousse here. Otherwise it's all blue. So I'm gonna move it around with my spatula just to mix in the color a little bit. Now I don't wanna move it around too much cause I'll see it will start to turn, all turn to one color. So already we have a really cool, pretty color going on right here in this area compared to just being white and that's different. So from here, I could have kept playing. If I wanted a lighter color, I could have gone back with the expanding mousse and added more to fade out the color, or I could have added other colors. I could go back with my violet brocade, which is a different color, and add some of that in to get even a darker purple mixed in there. And I'd move that around. See how it became darker a little bit? 
all right, but not too much because we don't want it to be one unified color. I'm gonna lift up my stencils so that I can dry them. Now you just wanna be very careful about this part and always make sure you wash them off good. I'm gonna set that aside. And this really nice stencil gives a crisp design, the one I just happened to pick from our craft room. So you got our nice little petals here. We got a nice sunflower over there. Okay. So already it looks pretty good. You could let it dry and it's all good. It would stay as it is. Now if you want that expanding mousse texture, you're gonna have to hit it with the heat gun. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun. It's first it's gonna dry and then it will expand. So wa let's watch and see what happens. Now it's already started to dry and I see some puffing up over here. Let me show you what this can look like when it's done. See this, I would use a twirling circles dye from Tonic and I did the same kind of method here. I spread it out all over the color and you see the variation in color that I got. Over here I spread too much and got one uniform purple. So that's what I was talking about. But right here, you can see there are, it's starting to crackle and that's the, that is the mousse expanding and that's what you want. Even after this, even this one, even after it cools off a little bit, if I see areas that are heavier than others, I can go back with the heat gun again and it will puff up even more. So I'm gonna keep trying. There we go. I see the puffiness happening at the bottom because that's where I concentrated more. But if you just look, you see the difference between this purple side and the plain side, the crackling. And this side I did go back and hit with those with my spatula to get those three dimensional pieces. I didn't do that over here, I probably should have, but that was a good tip. I do wanna keep showing you though, the shimmer powder that I showed you that we worked with, how amazing this stuff works. I like to use this with cards to make a background. Here's an awesome demonstration that's real quick. So that violet broke, that not violet, the lilac waterfall that I used first, I'm just gonna do a couple taps of that one. And then here we have, uh, not lunar rock, oh, meteorite shower is a good one. Look at that color. Wait, where are you? Okay, there we go. Look at that color, that's such a pretty black and purples. I'm all over that one. Anything purple I'm into. And let's see what else we got. We've got, ooh, Atlantis Burst. Here's a fun green. Everyone likes a good green. And here we have Golden Sparkler. That is a really pretty shimmer powder. And the nice thing, just remember about the, what I say about the labels, they're gonna look exactly like it does on the label and that's such a bonus. So I'm gonna take my mini mister here, that's just a simple Ranger mini mister or any sprayer. And I'm gonna shoot at the powders from any type of angle to see where they explode. Cause already you see that color over there, it's bursting out the more I hit it. And if I was working on a background for a card, I would move it around and watch it work around the paper. So I'm just gonna hit the other ones. Oh man, that one was real cool. Let's see that one. So the powder on that one was like a gold and you got all these other colors with it. And the green, oh that's such a pretty green. You've got green and light green and yellow in there. So these are such fun things to go back at. Even when, um, so I did the powder first and you can do the, and I did the water after. You can get a different result if you do the water and then the powder. So try that at home with your shimmer powders. If you don't have them, we have them online. But definitely these are so something to play with. I could even layer up on my powders. So check these out. This is the crackle mousse. It's just like the expanding mousse, except it has cracking in it. So if you look at my example right here, you can kind of see there's cracks in those stars a little bit. So if you think of like the Sahara Desert, any kind of desert, the sand cracks or the mud cracks, and that's what this effect is. So they're really kind of pastel color. So see this really pretty blue? So I'm just gonna kind of show you what the consistency looks like. It's very smooth. 
And if I go on the bottom of my paper, that's kind of your consistency. Now, depending on how thick or thin you do over your stencil, that's going to depend on the dry time. So these little stars right here, they're pretty thin. That took about 20 minutes for it to dry. You don't want to use a heat gun on it. You just want to uh, let air dry. And so if it's really thick like this, it's going to take probably a couple hours because it's going to take longer to dry. All right, so now we have our precision bl blending brushes. So these are the Nouveau blending brushes. They are very, very good for getting that beautiful blending with your ink. So I have some Distress Oxide here. I think I'm going with this purple. You just want to kind of rub it in there, get some color on there, and then go over your stencil and just add color wherever you want. And you can see how vibrant it is. And so I'm just going to add some color here and there. I just want to make sure to hold it down. And then I have my cloth over here, my microfiber cloth. I'm just going to run that over real quick. And then we're going to do this other purple. Whoops. And again, we're just adding some color, some places. You, you can do a swipe or you can do a swirl. It just depends on how you want to do it. I get some of my corner over there. All right, looking good. And then we're going to go in with our blue. Again, you want to wipe down so you're not mixing your colors. Oops. Now we're going to get our blue and just fill in those blank spots. Again, we're going to be blending between them. And I kind of want to create a tie-dye cloud look, so that's what we're kind of going for. We're going to pull up our stencil, and we have our tie-dye blue and purple look. So that's that. I was cleaning it with our Pink and Main Scrub It Clean Microfiber Tellets. There's two in a package, and they're very good for cleaning your brushes just like this. They also are machine washable. Here is the two pack that I got my brush from. It's $14.99, but there are also another, another pack of four packs. I have smaller detail brushes. All right, this is our Glacier Paste. So it's lots of fun colors you can see here that are very fun to work with. There's lots more too, but I'm gonna show you the pink, which is actually called Mambo Melon. That's super fun. So if you open the jar, it kind of looks like the other, other mediums, but this one I find much thinner. So you could almost say it's like jelly, how smooth it plays with over here. I'm just gonna use a stencil again just to show you. That's the easiest way. And I'll go in right here on the side and just start swiping. You can already see some of the glitter here um, as I'm working with it. See, it's already shimmery. So I'm just gonna finish up a little bit of this section and I'm still trying to scrape off some excess. And then I'm gonna lift this up. So I'm scraping off my excess just with the side of the the, 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 the tool, Stop. yes. And I'm gonna lift this up and look how pretty this is up close. This is so shimmery, I am loving it, the Glacier Paste. So that's a great addition to your mediums and your scrapbooks is the Glacier Paste. Okay, so lastly we have our Clear Nouveau container for our glitter drops. This is a very cute holder. You can see I have all mine lined up here. So let's say if you were down to the last bit of your glitter drop, it will um, levelly bring it down to the tip so it's easier to squeeze that out. And these can also stack if you have several more of these. They can also stack on top of each other and be sorted out very nicely. Thank you so much for watching with us today. And of course, use your coupon code online and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Oh my gosh, Vicki, what do you think? All those, oh my gosh, all those Diamond Dot products. My what did I tell you? My credit card about? is having. <laughs> <laughs> well, now wait, now to save some money on that credit card, I know that they have a special show code, don't they? They sure do, babe. <laughs> and okay, so if you enter the coupon code DIAMOND, which is D I A M O N D, you're going to receive 15% off 
everything on their website. Wow. One five, fifteen percent. So that is a steal. That is, I know, it, and that's on every product they have. I mean, right. and you know, you go to their website, they're gonna have tons, tons oh of products goodness. like you saw, but more. I know. So. I keep, it's just like it's like poof. There's too many things that I love, and oh my gosh, Dave. They have greeting cards. So you could do these beautiful diamond dots greeting cards like your makeup. I, yes. So you could do a greeting card. Imagine receiving one of those in the mail. I mean, gosh, I would be like, they love me. I know, <laughs> I know. I need to start on one of those maybe yeah, for a special card for yeah, my mom. And such, exactly. So. <laughs> and then I also love their buttons. Their buttons for three dollars. How cute I know. are those? And all those different little things. Yeah, I mean, gosh. And, so fun. And once again, that's like an endless creation that, you know, that they that right. you can do. So. I need to add one of those. I have a vintage suitcase where I keep all of my, when I go to like, you know, oh, little yeah. pop vents or whatever, yeah. little and meetups. And I, I always add a bunch of buttons. So I need one of those for yes, my little yes, vintage yes. suitcase. Well, because there's going to be so much to remember about this year. <laughs> that's for sure. Exactly. Okay. So then, oh my goodness, the kits. We saw so many that we liked. I love the rooster. Yes. If you follow me on social media, you see in my living room, I have yes. a giant rooster in the middle yeah. of my family room. I know. <laughs> I it, love roosters. I, it I does. Know. Well, hey, you know, you got to have all those things that you love around yeah. you. Yeah, so. and it's so cute to, like, actually make a Diamond Dots rooster I'd put in my kitchen or anywhere. Yeah. I, love, yeah. I love it. Well, and they have they had the Disney, which I'm yes. like a big Donald Duck fan. So yes. the Disney stuff was great. Yeah. The Avengers. Um, I know you saw some other things that you loved too. I did. I saw the dossier bag. So like, yes. say you're going to go meet up with a girlfriend and you're going to take your diamond dots um, to, you know, you're going to work on it together. How cute would it be to have that little bag? Oh, that yeah. little bag dossier i think it's called yes. and it they had it in black they had it in purple they had it in blue they had it in pink for 27 dollars wow. that's a you steal. can't beat that price i mean that that's another storage i mean exactly. and how fashionable would you come walking You'd in with be like, bag, that's right. my diamond, dots, <laughs> diamond dots are a girl's best friend <laughs> <laughs> exactly so there are so many beautiful things i love for like you were saying i had so many christmas ideas for my nieces for my for my friends' daughters, the little girls that yes. like the little um, bracelet pads. I know, I know that How would be cute. Would that be? That would especially be cute. with so many young ones at home, probably it's hard because they've been home. You yes, know? and there hasn't been much, and they're probably bored. This yeah. would be something new and different. It and would fun. Well, and you know, I always talk about my granddaughters, and you know, even the youngest one that's four. You know, I think that I think her attention span would be good for to do a bracelet. So that would yeah, be fun for exactly. her to do. So, so for there's sure. So many, yeah. so many products that they have that are uh, so super adorable. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the Diamond Dots se section or they have the, oh my goodness, the Nouveau Spanish I know. Mousses, oh my gosh, I saw so much Nouveau. Oh my gosh. I, the, oh my goodness. It was just like mind blowing <laughs> all the different things that I need in my life. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and once again, use on any type of project. I mean, yeah. and, and what I always like when, when they do the demos with product is, you know, like they show, you don't have to use a lot of the product. You know, you, you they, you know, you want to go a long way, and they want for you to go a long way too. So, so you guys, yes. remember, go to the website, use that coupon code. It's going to be awesome. And Dave, why don't you yeah. tell us what's coming up next? Oh, okay, awesome. So, so uh, for, once again, thank you so much for Creative Creations for that wonderful project. And coming up next, we have another uh, wonderful project from Miss Maria, it's cheaper than therapy.com, of course. And she is going to create a beautiful, beautiful happy birthday card. So beautiful. With the layering and beautiful papers and everything. So I love it. Yeah, and once again, you know, she's gonna show you how to use that die in multiple ways. So right. enjoy this next presentation from Miss Maria from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.
Hello everybody, how you doing? Now I said, how you doing? Yay! We are here for the Mega Make and Take Extravaganza. Uh, the first mini one, the first one for the at home edition at Stamp and Scrapic Expo. Uh, normally we do this with a great big crowd in front of us and I know there's a big crowd out there. I just can't see you all. And I really do miss that, I'd have to say, because I do love seeing everybody. So we are gonna make this Cutout Blossoms card, which I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. Machine. So this is the Big Shot Express. Um, we actually have a show special on here, a virtual event for normally $229.99 for only $169.99. You get the machine and you get this multi-purpose platform. So you get the bottom layer here, where you can do all your embossing, 3D embossing, your sizzlets and other things. And then you also get your extended thin die adapter on the top of it, so you can cut all your thin dies and framelits and other companies' thin dies as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually do the cutting on here for your card. So this is kind of a treat for me because normally we can't demonstrate this at the Mega Make and Take Extravaganza because there's so many people and you all wouldn't be able to see me. So this is kind of a real treat for me to be able to kind of show you some of the things um, that we do ahead of time. And then so you'll actually get to kind of understand a little bit how this all works. Now with your machine, this is the die set. You're gonna get all three of those inside your die set here, which I've already showed you. And this is the 664161. This is the cutout blossoms uh, from Sizzix. And so we've already got our cardstock pre-cut and we're gonna be showing you the dimensions of everything too. And these are the magnetic sheets as well. We're showing you and then the stamp storage on the back of it. And this is the die set right here. So you get all three of these in the set, but this is the one that we're going to use. So when you use this set, you're also gonna get, well, with the machine, you're also gonna get two clear cutting pads. Now these ones are the glitter ones. I like using the glitter ones a lot because then I can actually find them on the table. And so you're gonna put your cardstock down. You're going to put your die down however you want it um, to be. You know, you can turn it in any, any, any way that you want to. And so I'm gonna put it on here just like this. Now, we actually have this uh, markers tape. You can actually put this little markers tape on there just to kind of hold it in place. Um, or you can actually use the magnetic platform. Um, we can do that too. And so there's a magnetic platform that you can get for your machines. Now this one is the Electric Express Big Shot machine. And it has the regular six, six inch wide opening just like the Big Shot does. Now I'm gonna run this to, uh, through two times just to make sure that all the little pieces cut. Now you can also use the chrome precision plate. So if you have detailed dies that you want to use, oops, it's all coming out there already. It's all popping off there for me. So you can see here, I'm gonna set the machine over just a little bit. This is the die brush and foam pad with the magnetic bottom. So when you put the magnetic bottom on, you set it down, then you put the die brush on top of it and just give it a good push down. Make sure you're on a surface that in case you slip or miss, it's not gonna damage your surface. Um, but you get all these pieces now. What you can look at is you can see if all these pieces have been cut or not. And if you can see them on the back, then it looks pretty good. If you can't, um, we're gonna use the chrome precision plate and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So if you have those really delicate, intricate dies that are kind of finicky, that you feel like you gotta run it through a whole bunch of times, then you might wanna consider getting the chrome precision plate. Now, I'm just gonna kind of poke out, just make sure all the little, little pieces are popped out of there and it did just a beautiful job. And so you don't have to worry about just sitting there poking every single piece out of it to put it together. But that is just how easy it is to actually cut out the cut out blossom. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the happy birthday. And this is the one from Karen Bernison. This is the die that you get in the, in the die set. And it's just a really pretty elegant birthday. And so it's all one piece. Let's get that off there. It's all one piece when you get it. And also on the back of the card, it has a place for you to um, go ahead and put your, your die down. So you can put those in your little envelopes if you'd like. And so we just take like the little scrap pieces that we have. 
that are left over and you can be pretty frugal on your paper. And again, I'm gonna run this through. It's a push button. You can stop and start as you like. You can check your time. You can look around. You can take a drink while this is going through. At a little bit of an angle. That way you don't get the, I call it the speed bump when it goes through there. If you do things straight with straight lines, it kind of gives it a little thump, a little hump. So if you just kind of turn it just a little bit, this one is a thinner paper. There's the die that just kind of came right off of there. And so it's a thinner paper, so it doesn't need to be gone through a whole bunch of times. But let me see if I can put it on the black here so you can really kind of see. I'll put it on that foam pad. This is the double-sided foil double-sided foil so it really kind of gives it that really beautiful you know kind of a you know the metallic kind of a rounded rounded um, edges on there and so that's a really pretty one too so we hope you really enjoyed the project today um, you've got your coupon in your show special in your kit so you definitely want to take advantage of that and um, we are going to have those uh, dye brushes in there for you too Thank you for joining us today. We are going to make the Cutout Blossoms card. And this is a really pretty card. Um, you got a picture there that was right before. And you also have a picture in your, um, in your program. So what I want you to do is I want you to get all of your pieces out. And I've laid these pieces out for you so then you can see what it is that you need. And I'm gonna give you a minute to get that ready. Um, but you should have your folded card, your layers, and then the front of your card and the happy birthday and then also your bling if you want to add foam dots in between the layers of your card um, i'd recommend that you go ahead and do that now get those pieces out get yourself um, a good um, glue you know adhesive and so we use the quick drying glue from sizzix and we also use the fine tip bottle uh, from karen Bernison. it comes with the blue lid the blue tip on there and it's a really ultra fine for, for gluing down really her tiny little things, which is perfect. And then you can get an additional yellow tip on here. So then if you want to have a little bit more adhesive come through, um, then you can. So that's what we're gonna use today for the adhesive. The other adhesive that we used also, you know, is a good double-sided, um, this one's from Elizabeth Craft Designs, good double-sided adhesive. And there's different widths that you can get. And I've already pre-stuck mine on there. So get all of your pieces together. Austin's die set at 664161. You get these three in here. And so what the great thing about those are, here it is on these little magnetic sheets, and I'll kind of go over some of the little um, pieces with you. But actually, let me just go ahead and do that now. So these are the envelope with um, magnetic sheets. You get three envelopes. You get the magnetic sheets. And actually on the back side of this is actually, you peel this off here, protective coating. So if you have rubber stamps that have matching dies, then you can actually um, put them all together in one envelope. But these are the three um, die sets that you get. Now these dies don't just cut out the flowers and then you stick them onto your, your cardstock. They actually cut out into the paper. And so they're kind of like the, the mixed media ones, but they're just really, really beautiful. They're really simple um, ones to work with so for all of you that are joining us today, there's a lot of you that are, there's so many different levels of crafters and paper crafters and card makers. And so the reason why we chose this project is so that we could kind of accommodate everybody. So the ones that are just beginning, we could show you how to do something very simple. For the ones that have been doing it for a while, this is a great simple card. Um, that you can uh, make that make it look really elegant and I have a few different samples of this card so you can kind of see and, and for those of you that have been crafting for a very long time you know you, there's there's no endless possibilities of what you can do um, with these die sets and card making so let's get with it here okay so I have the bone folder I'm going to take out of here 
And then I've also got the um, die pick and then the tweezers. And I think that's all the tools that I need right now. And I'm gonna put this back into the little standard. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually just fold your card in half. Um, it's already kind of folded in the packaging for you, but it's not like completely folded. And so there's a score line. This is an A2 size card, so it's scored down right in the middle. So when it's folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, so we're gonna just fold this over, just match up your little edge, edges on there. And then we're gonna take the bone folder and just give it a really nice little crease. Um, I don't like to use the fingernails because then you get like a line in there. So the bone folders are really nice to just get right on in there. So now what you're going to do is it's very, very simple. So I'm going to kind of go through some of the pieces with you of how we cut that. And I'm going to show that to you in just a little bit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go ahead and assemble the card. And so what you have is you have this layer that's going to go on. Then you have this layer that's going to go on top of that one. And then you're gonna have this layer that's gonna go on top of this one. And so I've already pre-done my adhesives that's on the back of it. For the big pieces, I just went ahead and used a double-sided adhesive, which I wanna just use. You can use your tweezers or your die pick, you know, to peel off the, the backing on there. I don't know why, but I don't do well with my, my fingernails with that, so. And so four by five and a quarter. So it's four inches by five and a quarter. And so that's gonna layer right on top of here. So I put it on the, the cutting mat that we sell as well. So you can kind of see the different, um, the measurements on this one. So this will be your next layer. So this is three and three quarters by five inches. And we're just gonna peel off the backing on this again. And like I said, you can use tweezers. Uh, Sizzix has this really nice tweezer set. We also um, sell the Sizzix die pick. Just really great necessity tools that you should have. And then we're gonna layer this on here. So it's actually very simple. This is actually a very um, beautiful metallic cardstock that we sell. And so it has kind of a linen, linen pattern on it. There's like a champagne and then there's a kind of a, a white, um, you know, color on there. And it's just really pretty. Now this one here is where the flower one was cut out of. And that was this die right here. Do, do, do. I think it was this one. I'll show it to you here in a second. But that was the die that we cut this out of. Okay, so this is the top piece here. And this top piece actually measures in at, um, it's three and four and three quarters. And so when you put on your double-sided adhesive, you can either cut the pieces or you can just put it down and kind of tear it. I like to just do it this way. I've already got a couple pieces already on there. So you can kind of see how to put the adhesive on for any of you that are new to the good, strong, double-sided adhesives. Don't go get a good quality adhesive. Um, there's a lot of, lot of um, options out there, whether they're uh, liquid, double-sided, but um, this is a good quality one here from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Okay, so now all we're going to do is layer it on top of the card. And like I said, you can put the foam dots behind it if you want. You could put different colors behind here if you want. Um, you could even make it into a shaker if you wanted to. That's another option um, that you can do with this die set. So it's actually really a simple one, but it's elegant in the same token. It's elegant in the same token. And now we're gonna put the bling on. And so um, these are little adhesive ones. These are from Islet Outlet. And so sometimes what I like to do is just put it on my um, die pick and you can put them on where you want. These are self-adhesive. And so you should have five or six of them probably. You should have five on your little 
on your little strip inside your bag. And sometimes the harder part of all of this is actually getting the little blingy off. Just kind of getting it behind there. And I think these little blings just really add a lot to the project. Um, if you wanted to add glitter, we sell uh, the glitter from Sizzix, uh, VZ Crafts. Oh, VZ Crafts is a very ultra fine glitter. The one from Sizzix is just a, a little bigger on there. And like I said, you can put these wherever you want. So we're just putting them on the on the outskirts of this card. So we went kind of monochromatic on this whole thing, which is kind of the same somewhat color schemes, not a lot of change in colors. Um, a lot of people complimented this paper, you know, this cardstock that we have. And now we also have the happy birthday. This one is from Karen Bernison, and it is the 1030 happy birthday, 103 oh happy birthday. And then this is the die set. So when you cut it out, it cuts it all into one, one big piece. So you don't have two little pieces, but if you did want to separate the words, an easy little snip at those little areas, you could definitely move it around and uh, put it where you want to. So what I wanted to kind of show now is, now what I wanted to show is the um, adhesive on here. So we had taken uh, some of this quick drying, uh, dries clear, the express glue from Sizzix, uh, 660691, and we put it into the bottle. That's how they come, is they come empty, and you could put your um, adhesive in there. Um, this one works really well in here. And so you wanna make sure that all your little, these little tags are sticking out that um, didn't get popped all the way through. Make sure that those are all out of there. And then with this adhesive, it's so nice. Let's get some going in there. I really like this adhesive. Um, from Sizzix, it's the quick drying glue from Sizzix, but I really like this um, applicator as well. Uh, there's different ways. There's also a little tip that goes inside of the tip. So then a lot more can come out of it. Now this one, uh, we switched over into the blue lid on here. And so you can just see that just a little bit, look at that little bubble out of there. Just a little bit goes a long way, but see the nice little thin layer of adhesive that you can put on here. Let's see what's great is when you have the little tiny pieces of Karen Bernison's. This adhesive works wonderful and it has a real nice long tip on there. So if you have to kind of lift up your papers a little bit to get to the area that you want to put adhesive on. You have that flexibility without, you know, the applicator and that getting in your way. Now, when you're done with this, um, you want to put this lid on here. Let me get my glasses going on there first. You want to put that little needle back into the tip of it as soon as you get done because you don't want your glue to dry in that little that little needle tip area there. So be sure that you do that right away. Okay, so now we're just going to take our letter. And I like to take the, um, the tweezers so you can kind of see where it's going to lay. Make sure it's all kind of within the card areas. And just lightly press down. And what you don't have is you don't have a lot of adhesive oozing out of the um, underneath your, your word. Because that sometimes is annoying when you push something down and then it all kind of mushes out under there. 
But this is a very basic, um, easy card with just some really elegant dies with it. So I really like this die set, um, the 664161, the cutout blossoms. Um, and so I'm gonna show you some other samples here real quick. And here's a couple samples um, of how you can kind of, you know, work with this one. This one, you know, has like, um, you know, kind of an iridescent underneath there. It's obviously not finished with, um, you know, words and all of that, but it has an iridescent uh, finish. So you could actually use that Renea paper. This one has actually got the Renea paper underneath it as a layer. So it's not only as a layer, but it's also behind the flower. So then it almost looks kind of like two kinds of papers that are underneath there. And you could do that with embossing and all of that too. The, um, these ones are real fun. These ones have like these little, little drop, little, little sparkles. Um, it almost kind of looks a little bit like a wink of Stella and you've got a little bit of a glitter cardstock underneath there. And you could make your own cardstock with your double-sided adhesive with your cardstock and the glitter. Just put it on there, peel it off and put your glitter on there. And then you can make your own glitter cardstock. Now this is with two of the different flowers. That's real pretty. And with just really nice stamp sentiment as well. So you could do that too. That's the spring phrases, three six six three five eight seven, And then this one is, um, is also the spring phrases with the hello. And that's embossed with a black, um, that's a black embossing powder. Now Sizzix also has embossing powders too, which are just gorgeous and we carry them. So we carry the glitter, we carry the embossing powders, uh, the markers, they have permanent markers, all of that stuff. So here we are again with the iridescent behind that, which is a little bit of ribbon, some fun layers. You can either use the, um, Karen Burnison has the stitch squares, um, the hash, uh, the um, cross hatch squares, which has a real good fun design. This one was actually just done with like a little pen, um, little micro pen on there, and just a fun um, background. So these are just some fun ways of how you can use um, that die in just different ways. So. We really hope you enjoyed this card. Think of all of the beautiful cards that you can make with these wonderful die sets from itscheaperthantherapy.com. Don't forget about our show specials and the amazing coupon code we're offering. Look at this other amazing show special that we have. We have the Maria Surprise Sizzix Scrap Box. For only $34.99, you get all of these goodies, normally $70 with the product, two glitter packs, in yummy colors, you also get the coordinating sequins and beads sets, the new ones from Sizzix, the rubber stamp and die set, the thinlet set, the balloons, the textured impressions 3D embossing folder, and you also get a sampler pack of the textured cardstock with a sampler sandpaper, so when you emboss it, you can knock off the top edges of it. And then you also get one of the shaker, new shaker domes. And you get all of this for only $34.99. We are so excited to be here this evening for the very first mini make and take extravaganza hosted by Scrap, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo at Home Edition. This has been a wonderful event. We miss seeing each and every one of you at all of the shows. So we do welcome these virtual events so we can stay a little bit closer to you guys and so you can enjoy all of these wonderful products, crafting, designs, and samples. Thank you all so much. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Happy crafting. Welcome back, everybody. Um, gosh, Vicki, I'll tell you, wasn't that an adorable birthday card? It sure was. It was beautiful. Oh my gosh! You know that um, I, I, you know, I'm a big. I love dyes. <laughs> I love yeah. dyes, yeah, yeah. and I just love how. Uh, and this is a very hard word for me to say. 
intricate that the dye is, is but it's so beautiful and and uh, uh and uh, that whole dye set was beautiful um, was. to use and once again so versatile to use in uh, all your projects or even on you know you could add another flower to this one but and i also like how um, she showed that tool that to get all those little pieces out so right. and um the other uh, i like the tip because on these in intricate dies sometimes you do have to run them through twice with that paper um and then she also showed where doing the happy birthday because it was a thinner paper that it only needed to be ran through through um, once so really great uh great tips on that i mean i loved it it was beautiful yes. i love how she layered the beautiful papers. I thought that was so pretty. I love this Tim Holtz die yes. and all the different ways I can imagine how to use it. You could, you know, it's it's so beautiful. You could even, yeah. you could, I would even think you could even use it as like a stencil and adding the, um, you know, the. Exactly, you the, could ink and the, and ink the paste, and all that. any of yes. that, yes. It's so beautiful, the layering, the Karen Berniston, happy birthday. I would cut this out probably four million times. This is like a really must have die because how many of us need a birthday card all of the time in our lives, right? It, it is. And you know what? I And I, you know, there's all different kinds of fonts and happy birthdays, but if this is, this could be for elegant nor, um, uh, or just a basic. And then also she showed you where you can actually snip those too. So if you want to put happy up here and Brooklyn True. down there. So yeah, yeah. once again, I mean, there's a die that you, you know, that you can use different ways. And, and how pretty is the paper too? You guys feeling that? Oh my goodness. I, it's got the, sh the, the shimmer. shimmer. Yes. It's just so pretty. Yes. I love it. It's yes. gorgeous. It's so classy. It is. And you know, and when, you know, when she was doing the layering and that shimmer shines through. It did, you know, it through does. that die, and you know, and it's not, it's not a loud, you know, it's not a, a I'm going to say bold or loud shimmer, but gosh, it just that little bit of elegance to go with with the rest of the card, yes, yeah, so you know, cute. and of course, you know, adding the little bling bling. I know, you know? I was just, I was just going to say bling the little bling <laughs> bling always makes things so much better. It, it does, it does, and and I like to, and I don't know why I've never done this, is when she used the. Um, the pick to pick those little yeah. those little blings That's a good up. Tip. Yeah, it is because I you know I like to use bling and, and the enamel dots and all that and um, I when I get down to the smaller ones then I'm like then how where they end up is on my fingers and down here and I can't get exactly. in the right spot so it was really a, a good way to right. to use those and and make sure all you the know physics you, tools exactly I yeah. like how she like. Brought out her doctor's bag too, almost like that. The whole like tool, the right. whole tool thing. I was like, that is so cool. Yeah. Like I need that. Exactly, and you know, one, you know, I've been doing this for twenty years, and we're all still using. And there's all the basic tools, the bone folder, you know, and it oh, makes yeah. that nice. You know, she said, you know, some people use their finger, but that kind of you it know does. kind of messes it, it up a, a little bit. Yeah, and you got your tweezers to you know to to really place, you know, uh, so you're not, you know, I got, I feel like I have, my fingers are like, I don't know, just ginormous, trying trying to let, you right. know, lay things in a certain spot. And so. then the brush, like you were talking about, what was the noise you made? Yeah, yeah that one. Perfect, <laughs> yeah. All those physics tools are so, so neat. Yes. So, like, really important, you know, and to have them right there next to you while you're working is Awesome. You have already yeah. in that piercer. Yeah. I mean, the piercer I use, you know, all the time. I mean, just for you know, for everything. Yeah. So that's yeah. a great thing. So. It's just such a pretty card. It is it pretty really pretty. Is. Love yeah. the Tim Holtz die. Love the Karen Bernstein. Happy birthday. That's yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Well, I know that coming up here that she has some more goodies to show Ooh, us. So I can hardly wait to see all those good things. Are you get, getting ready? Are you making your list? I am, I have my pen. I, <laughs> get ready everybody. She's got some great specials coming up. So we'll be back shortly. Welcome everybody. We'll be looking forward to all of your questions after the video. Hello everybody, welcome to itscheaperthantherapy.com. This is Maria C, the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com. So we wanna welcome you to the Make a Make and Take Let's Have Some Fun 
25 minutes of fun. What we're going to make today is we're going to use a lot of the products that are in the Maria Surprise Sizzix Craft Box. Um, but we're also going to use the cardstock pack um, from Sizzix. And it's the really beautiful coordinating colors. This one has 80 sheets in it and has just some really fun colors. But this is what we're going to start with. So we're going to cut our cardstock. Um, we're going to make basically an A2 size card. And um, so let's get started with that. So these are the colors that we're starting out with. And we're just going to make a really fun shaker card using, again, a lot of those products that are in the Sizzix Surprise box. And... This is the yellow that we started with, and we basically did it into the A2 size card. And so we scored it right down in the middle. So I'm gonna fold that in half, and I'm gonna fold that down. We are starting with our card base. And so it has a very nice, beautiful texture on the cardstock. I don't know if you can see it, but it's that, that beautiful um, texture canvas. And then we're gonna actually do um, our turquoise, but I'm gonna show you how to do some fun layers here in just a moment. Okay, we're going to start off with the Rectangles Crosshatch Die Set from Karen Berniston. And it has all of the measurements on the bottom and has solid and crosshatch rectangles. And so I've got the crosshatch, um, you know, die set here that's already on the cutting plate getting ready to cut. And I'm going to take this markers tape and I'm going to make sure it just stays on there real nice and doesn't move on me. And you can use the magnetic platform or you can use this stuff here, which is the markers tape, whichever you prefer. And then sandwich this up with your two clear cutting pads. And the noise that you hear, that's the little speed bump, but it's still cutting, so don't worry about that. But if you kind of take your, your set here and you just kind of turn it just a little bit of an angle, when you cut, you know, like this, then it won't make that noise. So I wanted you to hear it. That means that it's still cutting. And it's really cut on there. We got a little adhesive on there. So keep your little tape because then you'll be able to. But isn't this a beautiful um, crosshatch design? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere it down onto the top of it. But I'm not going to adhere it down yet. I wanted to actually cover the whole front of the card. So, um... I don't want any of the edges of the cards to show through. So let's do the next one. Okay, so on this one here, it's just the solid rectangle. But if you notice, I'm cutting it out of a larger rectangle. It's just, a, you know, my scrap that I'm using. But you can actually make frames with these as well. So if you see that I kind of made it at a little bit of an angle, so it doesn't hit all the roller at the same time, you hear a little more of the, the crackling, but you're not getting that speed bump. So here it is. Take this tape off so you can... Keep reusing it. So you get a nice rectangle that you can use for something else. And here's the rectangle shape. The next one we're doing is this beautiful other crosshatch design, just a little smaller. But again, if you want to keep, um, you know, your scraps and kind of use them as rectangles for something else, it's very easy to do so. So we're gonna run this through here. And see how I made it at an angle a little bit? Since this die has a little bit of a wider edges on it, you're not going to hear so much of that crackling as you would sometimes on just the thinner ones. So you can use your magnetic platform, but if you don't have the magnetic platform, you can use this marker's tape. And so, or washi tape, whatever you like, post-it notes. But that's a, another little um, really pretty rectangle design. Another thing you can do is this rectangle uh, was cut out of the crosshatch, but you can actually get pretty um, thrifty with your paper. So if you took this die and you actually cut this little rectangle out of here, you're not going to see that there's a middle cut out of it on the card. So you can actually use this whole piece with a middle missing on it to make your layers because the other pieces are going to cover it up. Um, just like you would with this one. You would just take your, like, your little piece out of there and do your layers and then you end up with extra pieces for your cards. So you can use this for another project if you'd like. So we're gonna just put this off to the side, but you can do that with a lot of the different dies um, with all of the different colors. So if you wanted to take, you know, more out of this rectangle, you could use this one, cut the middle of it out of it, because then this one is just gonna layer on top of it and you're not gonna see that. So, you know, that's a way of kind of doing a little things a little bit more thrifty. This one here is uh, one of the balloons out of one of the die sets that's in the Maria Surprise Sizzix craft box. 
And this is like a shaker one too, but you don't have to always use it as a shaker, but it is going to fit the shaker dome, uh, domes that are in that set as well. And so one of the things I also did is I also flipped my cutting pads around a little bit. So once you start to see a little bit of a bend in your cutting plates, flip them over, top and bottom. So then you end up with this really neat shape here. Really pretty blue. Okay, so here's a lot of the pieces that we've cut or the die sets that we've used. Um, and so we also have the shaker domes here. We have the die that was used uh, for the balloon. With the little balloon, we got some of the dies here for the um, bottom of the balloon. The Karen Berniston Happy Birthday. We've cut that out of turquoise. And then we have also all of our layers. This is another Stampin' die set that comes with the kit. And so then we also have all of these sequins and beads and the glitter and the adhesive. So now we're going to put this together. So we got a little bit that kind of came out kind of quick, but that's okay because you can kind of spread it around with your finger. Then we're going to take our Sizzix tweezers. And like I said, I wanted this one to fit right on top of the card. So I'm going to layer that right on here. Now, if a little bit sticks out, you can always kind of trim that up just a little bit. All right. So then we're going to put the next layer on. I really like this turquoise color. This is express glue. This stuff comes out. It dries quick. It dries clear. Always be sure you put your lids on when you get done with them so they don't dry up. If you do, just need a little needle to get them out. Okay, so now we have just our basic layers. But with the cross hatch on there, it this looks is the really balloon good. that we're going to use. And this is one of the shaker domes that is in the set. And as you can see, it has the adhesive all the way around it. And you just put your shaker stuff in there and then adhere it down. And so we're going to adhere this balloon part down just so that it can kind of dry just a little bit before we put everything all together. Let me get the express glue again. I'm just going to kind of push that over a little bit. Make sure you get it all the way around. So then it has a barrier so your little shaker pieces in that don't come out. And I'm going to just kind of do it at a little bit of an angle and just lightly press down for right now until it sets where it wants to set. And it does dry clear, so if you have a little bit that kind of sneaks out of there, that's okay. It does dry clear. That's what I really like about this adhesive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere down the little string for the balloon. And this is where the this tip comes in that comes with the fine tip bottle. You could buy an additional tip that's an 18 gauge and it can actually put a little bit more adhesive out there. When you have these really teeny, teeny, tiny things and you don't have adhesive sheets to adhere onto the back of them, this is a great adhesive tool. And so I'm going to just put it on here, adhere it down. And then I pulled a little orange out of there. I just wanted another color. I, I just really like a lot of colors. And so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna put a little bit of this, this adhesive on here just in these little teeny, 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 tiny spots. It's a great adhesive applicator. And like I said, it has the little needle tip on there. So when you do have both tips, don't get the needle tips mixed up because the one for the 18 gauge will not fit into the smaller one. 
So you will struggle. You won't win, but you could struggle. And so I'm gonna put this little guy right on here now. Look at that. Very nice adhesive. I really love that adhesive a lot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the little, um, little goodies inside of the shaker. Okay, I've already trimmed off the bottom edge of that little string. And so this is kind of the, the fun way of doing this is there's all these little goodies, but what you wanna make sure is that they stay inside the shaker part of it. So you can fill it up. You could actually even do like a little stamped, a little stamp saying inside the balloon before you do that. Let's get some of these little guys. Got some little fun hearts. We got some beads. We're gonna do the beads here last. Cause I have a feeling they're gonna be, they're gonna be the fun one. Yeah. So these little guys, they'll kind of go all over the place. But you could even have a jar of just a whole bunch of mixed ones too, if you wanted to. Let's do some of these little guys. It's fun to shake them. But I think the little beads and stuff, they are gonna make a little barrier. Maybe they'll stay in just a little bit better. I'm just gonna do a little pinch of these. Give it a little, little tiny little spoon applicator. These are going to make a lot of fun noise. Don't need a lot of them. We're going to corral some of these little guys back up. Almost as bad as glitter. Glitter gets everywhere whether you want it to or not. Okay, so as long as you have them on the inside of this, then, with these shaker domes, you get six of them in a package. This is the package. It's an egg shape, and you can use it as an egg shape if you want, but it actually fits with this balloon shape. So, um, uh, this is the die set, but like I said, the dies are pretty big, as you can see, and you can use that little shaker dome uh, for the front of it. So, all you have to do is I'm going to get the little piece here, and you're just going to peel that off. And then... We're going to adhere it down, but let me make sure that all those little guys are in there. Before we stick it down, because once we stick it down, it's down. You're going to press real good around the edges of that and get that little guy out of there. You're going to press the edges real good. And look at how cute that is. Who wouldn't love to get that? Now, one of the things that we're going to do just real quick to finish up the card is we're going to adhere this on. Now, like I said, you can do stamped images. You can do, um, you know, stamped scenes. There's all different kinds of new ones. Uh, today, I feel like doing die cutting. And so, again, I'm going to take the fine tip bottle with the original blue tip, and I'm going to just kind of get in there. And just put, you know, application. Sometimes you can do dots. But you don't want to wait too long. You want to kind of get in there and get it done. So then the adhesive that you started with doesn't dry. But like I said, we've got this Maria's Surprise Sizzix Craft Box. And um, this is actually the first time that I've used the Shaker Domes. And I've seen them used, and I think they're just adorable. And there's different size domes that you can get, and some of the dies that Sizzix makes actually coordinate with the dome sizes, so that's pretty cool. But you could also create your own if you wanted to as well. Make sure we get these little, little ends. Okay, so now we're going to adhere this onto the inside of the card. And this adhesive also dries clear. And we're just gonna kinda do it at an angle. And just kind of press down and if you wanted to separate these words it would be a, just a quick little snip there to separate the words and now I'm going to press down a little bit more now that I have it where I want so then things don't slip around now a couple of the other things that's in the 
Maria Surprise Sizzix Craft Box is the um, glitter. So we're going to just add just a little bit of glitter um, to an area here. And so I think we're going to just pick this color. And you can do this with Ooh. adhesive sheets. Put your adhesive down. You can make your own glitter paper. You can make it real chunky if you wanted to. And all I want is just a little bit. All I want is just a little bit right here, just in that middle. And so you just put your adhesive, give it a little bit of a sprinkle, knock off your excess, and wait for that to dry. And then you can brush off the other parts of it, but you wanna wait for that, um, that glue to dry. So you can take your little excess paper uh, to catch it in or a coffee filter and for those of you who know me I don't really drink coffee and so you can just put it back in your little jar if you want a really fine tip glitter you can use our VZ crafts glitter it's a super ultra fine this has got just like a little bit more of a chunk to it and it's really really pretty so everything that's in this box is what you're going to get for the Maria Surprise Sizzix Craft Box. And so this everything that we made in here, um, the uh, cardstock and the adhesives and the tweezers and stuff like that is separate. There's also the 1030 um, die set from Karen Berniston and the rectangles crosshatch. And you can just see just how pretty that this is. And who just doesn't love to just get shakers? So don't think that the egg shape is just for eggs. You can actually use it for a lot of other things just like this. And so we're gonna just brush off that glitter here as soon as that middle part dries. If you use adhesive, um, dry adhesive, like a double-sided adhesive, then you don't have to wait for it to dry. It'll just uh, be stuck on there. So enjoy Maria Sizzix Craft Box. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. Thank you much, so much for joining us tonight at the Mega Make It Take Extravaganza. We're so excited about this event. Um, I'm going to show you some of the, the pictures, um, you know, the things that you get, but you get all of these too, and some of the other things that are also that we use. So thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And don't forget, these are some of the things that we just got done showing you about the Maria Surprise Sizzix Craft Box. Everything you get is in this box. It's normally about $70 with the product for only $34.99. Check this out. You get so many things in there. It, it is unbelievable what you all get. So check it out. We've also got some uh, new big reveal that's coming up um, on the new Karen Berniston line. And we're so excited to present that part of it for you too. So enjoy and have fun. Big reveal. This is the new Karen Berniston line. There are a ton of dies that are coming out. This one is the Bitty Ball Pop-Up. He is so cute. It's a mini miniature version of the surprise pop-up ball. And these are the dies that you get down here. And when you put it all together, it flattens for mailing. Check that out. This is how it flattens out. The sample shows the little dies and everything that go, that were decorated with it. So those are the other sets that you can get. And wait till you see the, all the other things that you can do with it. Okay, here it is, animal add-ons number one. Check these out. You can make a pig and a fox and a cat. And I'm sure that there's other things that you can make too with your creativity and imagination. All right, so let's go to the next one. We've got animal add-ons number two. So cute, look at him. He's adorable. Oh, that elephant and the giraffe. He's kind of a short little giraffe, but he's so cute, he's so funny. Um, these are all the dies that you get in the sets, which are in the bottom corner of your picture. And here we go for the next one. We've got the Flip frame pop-up. I've got a sample of that. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. And it is, it folds flat. And you can see down here how it folds up into your card, okay? And what I wanted to tell you is that 
you can pick your own card size. Choose your own card size, and I'm gonna give you an example of that with one of our older sets um, here in just a little bit. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, let's go down to this one here. This is the pattern plate. It is the fronds, but it's not just a pattern plate. Check this out. You can use them for backgrounds, layering, stenciling, and embossing. So don't just think that it's just for die cutting and laying it down. Look at the three different ways that you can use this. It is phenomenal, just all the different ways that you can use that. All right, here's the next one. And it is the landscape scene. Oh my God, these are so cute. Oh, look at that. I like it in the black of the silhouettes. And then if you notice, there's the crosshatch die that was used, the crosshatch rectangle. That gives it another little flare there for some fun layering and texture. Here's your dies that you get in the set. Oh my God, it's so cute, the landscape scene. Here's the next one. It's the pop and swap. Oh, he's so adorable. It's almost like a little, he just little pops out at the bottom there. Look at that. The upper panel disappears and the lower panel appears see how it's kind of shows the little arrows there and another one there it makes great window cards oh the pop and swap that's super fun okay and the next one for the pop-ups is going to be the purse pop-up you could make it into a luggage just think of the things that you can make with it it makes a great suitcase. Oh, it's adorable. And I've actually got a sample of that one too. I'm gonna to show you here in just a moment. These are some phenomenal ones, everybody. Check it out. Okay, so we're moving on over and we have the Safari Animals. Oh, they're adorable. This little smaller version and everything. So we've got the elephant giraffe and the hippo. He's so cute with a little tutu around him. And then we have the gnome and Santa. She can make it into a gnome, you can make it into a Santa, but those are just adorable. I love the little mushrooms, those are so cute. And with all of the gnomes, you also should get the fairies, backyard charms. These guys are great. And with the charm sets, you don't have to use them as a charm. You can cut the little, little top of it off that puts the little jump ring in there, and you can use it just as a regular embellishment die on your cards or your paper crafts. And we've got the doll lip charms that's gonna go in with the purse pop-up. And that's really a cute, that's gonna be really popular too. But all of Karen's dies are all really popular. So here we go with the fast food charms. How cute are those? They make me really hungry. And we've got Go Wild. We've got some samples we're gonna be putting on the site here for you too right after the video. And then we also have, these are great, wedding day and then happy anniversary. So, and then also with sadness, we have with sympathy. So this is the new reveal from Karen Berniston. And then here, let me show you some of these cards here real quick. Oh, look at how cute. This is make a wish. And let's open it up. And it's got a shaker in there. And that's a little pop-up frame the flip frame pop-up got the happy birthday which is item 1030 okay so now we've got this one right here another flip frame go wild and celebrate okay now one more that we've got a sample of that we can show you and it is this one right here we also got a couple more samples in um, from the Karen Burnison line. These are just absolutely amazing. These are from Fran Savid. And um, it's this thing, whole, the whole thing folds flat. This whole card folds flat. And uh, these little guys just pop up, pop and swap. So I'm gonna open it up and you're gonna see the little, the little hip over there in the corner. And where does it go? 
it disappears. Kind of comes down below. See that one hides while the other one appears. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, gosh, Vicki, I'll tell you, more stuff to buy. I know. And great deals for little bundle packs. So. I know, so cute. Yes, oh, tell, cute. tell them about the special and okay. the code and okay. all the goodies. I will give it to you. Okay, so the coupon code is MMTE2020, and that will get you 25% off store-wide, including sale items, okay? Wow. Plus a free domestic shipping on all orders over fifty dollars. So that is amazing. Yeah. Wow, and fifty dollars is easy to get. Yes. Right. And yeah. I, and this is in there in your kit, so you have yeah, it right the, there the, too. It's right there. So if if you want, if you're going, what do I get? It's right <laughs> there for all of you to see. But the coolest thing, Dave, that I know I'm gonna buy <laughs> is Maria Surprise Sizzix Craft Box. I know. It has a retail value of $70, but you can get it this weekend for $35.99. Wow. I'm sorry, let me take that back. Oh, $34.99. Oh, we just saved you another dollar. <laughs> $34.99. <laughs> oh my goodness, all the things you get in that. I know, it was amazing at I, all the products you oh get goodness. to do. Oh, tons of products. And I always, like, I'm leery. I am I have never been one to, like, really, like, do good on a shaker card yes. and so when i saw this i'm like okay i can definitely make that shaker i think it's gonna work it's so like the rim of the balloon is so so awesome yes. you can make it an egg you can make it anything i'm excited i'm gonna get this bundle yeah. i'm just telling you right now <laughs> well i'm the same way and you know just like you were talking about the shaker card you know yeah it it it, it like you, I think it, it was like almost a little stressful sometimes trying to line yeah, up the pieces. all my stuff would fall off the side. I know, <laughs> and, and you know, there's so many cute little things that you can put inside of that shaker. Right. You know, and with that kit, I mean, you got it's rhinestones like so and, and yeah. or, um, uh, sequins, rather. Right. And all kinds of goodies that you can put in that shaker exactly. card. Exactly, so. I cannot wait. That is such a deal, $34.99, and it's called Maria Surprise Physics Craft Box. And remember, it has a retail value of $70. Wow. That's an amazing deal. Exactly. So then, how exciting was all of that Karen Berniston new dyes? Brand new. The, oh, my little, God. Little yes. Pup -up, pup -up puppy, I call <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They were so cute. It like was. the pop-up dog card and then the add-on animals after that. All the different. Yeah, you can add so much to them. Oh, my goodness. Yes. All the different animals, that dyes that you could buy that also can you imagine getting that you know how much i love and you I, love your I know. dog yes we're both for oh baby my goodness, i can make because you know my dog bjorn has like little spots of white and he's brown you could totally customize that card oh to yeah be like bjorn says hello yeah. like i made mean, this guy is so cute exactly so you can exactly. make a cat we saw a pig but also yeah. there was a fox. Yeah, all kinds of animals. So I mean, just cute. any any time, and you could probably even interchange to make one animal look like another one. Yeah, so. that's what you. That's what yeah. Mario was saying. Yes. Um, also, there was the flip frame pop ups. Those are so amazing. Yeah, they're so amazing. All the pop ups and how they open and then the frame opens up. I know. It's just like wow. I, I love to um, you know when the card swaps and even getting cards. I love to get the little I always call them like little surprises inside. Yeah. You know? And you know and Maria has so many dyes like that. So many I different know. dyes that do so do you know all kinds of you know uh, um, I call, and even like little secret secret um, secret pop ups or secret compartments and and you know trifolds and gate cards and everything exactly. so just such a great variety the, of, of the landscape dyes. die yes the first pop-up all of those things oh my goodness they're so amazing and to receive a card from a friend that, that just to me that just screams i love you because i spent 
so much time making this I know, card. I, know. I care about yeah. you. So. Well, and you know, the dies, they take a lot, some of that work off. So it's exactly. a beautiful card. Exactly, so easy to layer and boom. Exactly, so, so don't excited. be afraid to use those. Exactly. For sure. So Dave, we have another presenter coming up that's going to be so amazing. We do. We have um, Keep It Simple is coming up and you're going to be doing a, not only just a layout, but a five and a half card, inch card and an A2 card. So it's gonna be a lot of projects and and there's always a lot of extras that you're gonna be able to use too. So enjoy the next product from, or excuse me, project from Keep It Simple, everybody. And we'll be right back. Hello there, it's Jenny McGarvey from Keep It Simple Paper Crafts. Welcome to the Mega Make and Take Extravaganza. We are going to make three projects today, including this card, another card, look at how cute that is, and also a scrapbook layout. All of these are going to be created using the patterns from our Clementine collection. It is full of beautiful patterns, lovely saturated colors, and so many great images that I think that you're going Going to for sure love. Now let's take a look at the items that are included in this make and take kit. First we have a handful of white buttons that we'll use on the projects. We also have some of the clementine ephemera. There will be more left over than you can even use on these three projects. So you could use them on others or add them to the projects when you're finished. An assortment of pattern papers that are from the collection. Now please note the pattern papers that you purchase in the collection pack are actually a much higher quality paper. It's on our 80 pound felt weave paper that is absolutely beautiful and such high quality. But the same lovely pattern patterns and saturated colors. Now you'll also receive in this kit a sheet of white cardstock and a paper doily and then also a length of white grow grain ribbon as well. Now that's not all. We're also going to receive the card bases to create our two cards. You see them right here with nice white crisp cardstock. And then also you will receive the coordinating sized envelopes as well. So you can just go ahead and address those, add a stamp and mail those right out. Isn't that wonderful? We're gonna have a lot of fun creating with these items. I just know it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the items that you'll need to create our projects today. You are going to need a five and a half by four and a quarter inch photo. You will also need a 12 inch paper trimmer, you're going to need some scissors, you'll also need your favorite foam adhesive, some glue dots, and a tape runner. That's it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, why don't we go ahead and get to creating? Doesn't that sound fun? First up is this beautiful layout. I absolutely love it. It is perfect for a favorite photo that can shine front and center. And then you can add a little bit of journaling later on to document whatever was going on and tell the story. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. I have already assembled the items that we'll need. So you can see those right here. We've got a pile of beautiful goodness, don't we? We have some patterned papers and our white cardstock base, and that's how we're going to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut a one by 12 inch and a two by 12 inch strip from this pink floral paper. Then we will adhere the smaller strip, that's the one inch by 12 inch along the top and the larger strip, that's the two by 12 inch strip along the bottom of the white cardstock layout base. So you can see I'm just cutting those right up and then I'll take the tape runner to adhere those to the 
cardstock. Next up, we're going to cut two half inch by 12 inch strips from this multicolor stripe paper, and we'll adhere those strips to the layout directly below and above the pink florals. These coordinate together so well, and I love the balance of the florals and the stripes together. Definitely always a favorite. Now these little strips are just going to provide an accent, but I love how adding these two together not only looks great, but it also draws your eye into the center of the page for the important part of the layout, which is of course the photo, and then any journaling that you might add as well. So I'm just making sure to get plenty of adhesive on the strip, though not in too much because we don't really need to cover the entire strip, just the edges and then a little bit in the center, and then line them up right next to that floral. Now that we're finished with that, we're going to cut a four and a half by six, six inch panel from the maroon stripe paper. I love the tone on tone of these stripes. It's really so pretty. Once we are finished cutting this, we are going to layer it and adhere it with our photo in the center of the layout, two inches from the left edge. Now I did already add a nice little border around my photo. It's just small, a little tiny bit of white cardstock peeking out just because I really love how that makes the photo pop. And I can't help it, I really do love some layering. I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive in the corners that will do the job to adhere it to the page. Now I'm also going to use a ruler to get the dimensions just right. However, if you'd prefer to eyeball it, you can do that as well. So remember, I'd like to have it be two inches from the edge and then in the center of the page vertically. Sometimes it takes a long time to get things straight, doesn't it? Okay, now we are all finished. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut a two and a half by six inch panel from the Coral Music Note paper. Now when you do this, you're going to want to make sure to pay attention to the paper orientation when you're cutting as you would well, well, will want to make sure that those music notes are orientated the right way. We're going to adhere the panel to the right of the maroon stripe paper. And when we're finished with that, we will take out of the bag of ephemera and die cuts, 
we will take that You Are Perfect card and adhere it in the center of the panel. I love the contrast of that card with the photo and the rest of the pattern papers. It's just beautiful and it really pops. Now we're going to take the paper doily and we're going to cut it in half. You'll set this aside the, half, the other half for one of the cards that we're going to create in a little bit. Now I'm adding adhesive to the back of the doily and then we will adhere it at the bottom right corner of the You Are Perfect card. The next step is to layer and adhere the large floral heart and the pink damask heart at the bottom corner of the You Are Perfect card using foam adhesive. So it's just going to lay perfectly next to the You Are Perfect and the doily. Super cute. I love how those just fit so snugly together. They just look super cute and perfect and the patterns of course coordinate wonderfully. Now I love to make sure that I have enough of my foam adhesive not only to adhere the item to the page but also to give it the support that it needs as well. All right, so very cute. I just love it. But we're not all done yet. The next step is that we are gonna take this white grow grain ribbon and we're gonna cut a 12 inch length and tie a bow. Just a simple bow like you would when you're tying your shoes. I'm not paying too much attention on the edges at this point either. I'll clean those up when I'm finished tying my bow. So I'm simply taking the length of ribbon and tying a bow just like you would if you were tying your shoes, trying to make it cute and even. But again, just like everything else, it's not quite as easy to get these things all lined up and neat and orderly, is it? So I'm just pulling it to make sure that it's all straight and we've got it tied nice and tight. And then when I'm finished doing that, I will also take my scissors and just cut the edge in a nice little angle, making sure that it matches in length with the bow as well. The next thing that we'll do is we'll adhere the bow at the bottom of the hearts with a glue dot. So I'm simply peeling that glue dot or sticking it to the back of that bow and then we'll adhere it right there. Oh my gosh, that's just adorable. I absolutely love it. So very cute. Now remember those white buttons that I showed you earlier? We are gonna take a small white button and adhere it in the center of the bow, again, using a glue dot. And we're not quite finished. We still have another step. We're going to take one of the small white hearts from the ephemera and adhere it to the top of the You Are Perfect card. So cute. And then we'll also do the same thing with one of the small buttons. We'll use a glue dot and adhere that right next to that heart. That 
that turned out so cute, didn't it? I just love it. Now we can go ahead and move on to our five and a half inch card. We're going to use a few of the patterned papers, a button, the other half of that doily, so hopefully you set it aside, and then we are going to create a beautiful thank you card that you can send to just about anyone. Now the first step is we are going to cut a five and one quarter inch square from the green polka dot paper. The next step is to cut a three by five and a quarter inch strip from the pink floral paper. Don't those look beautiful together? Now the next step is going to be to cut two quarter inch by five and a quarter inch strips from the maroon stripe paper. Now we will adhere the pink floral strip of paper to the center of the green polka dot paper panel and adhere a maroon stripe strip above and below the floral panel. That was all just tied together so nicely. I love that organic floral print, but then you have the solid geometric patterns in the polka dot and the stripes. They look wonderful together, don't they? So we're simply just adhering that in the center and then we will add those strips above and below the floral. Now I used my tape runner here, but if you have a liquid glue handy, you could also use that if it has a really fine point that would work as well. But we'll just stick with our tape runner since that's what we're using for the majority of the project. Now look how cute that is. Now the next step is we are going to take a five and a half inch length of white ribbon and make that cut in the end. Again, it doesn't really matter what the ends look like because we are going to tuck that behind the paper. Okay, so now I've cut that five and a half inch length and we are going to adhere it to the bottom of the pink floral panel and we'll adhere both of the ends to the back side of the paper. So I'm just gonna run my tape runner right along here. I just love how it sticks together so very nicely. It also straightens out the ribbon really nicely as well. And then we'll just give it a nice firm to press it together to make sure they're bonded and then we'll flip it over and adhere it on the back side as well. looks gorgeous. Now we're going to take that other half of the doily, remember the one that we saved from before, and we will adhere it above the ribbon and slightly to the right. Now we'll take the thank you label 
and we will adhere it on the right side of the panel over the ribbon using our foam adhesive. Now again, use whatever foam adhesive is your favorite. This is one that I had handy and I've used enough to make sure that it sticks really nicely, but that you can't like poke it in the center or anything like that. So when you send it through the mail, it'll still be well supported. got that a little bit uneven so I just pulled it up and straightened it right out so it still looks great. Now I'm going to take the white grow green ribbon and cut another 12 inch length of it and tie a bow just like we did before. So simply tying a bow like you would tie a shoe, making sure to get it to be a good length that both the tails match the width of the actual bow. And now we'll trim those tails as well just to make sure that they are nice and neat and clean. Now that we're finished with our bow, we are going to go ahead and adhere it to the left of the thank you label with a glue dot. And we're also going to adhere another white button in the center of this bow as well. I just love how that looks. It's a little bit unexpected with it being placed vertically, but I think it looks wonderful. And the bow in the center just, or I'm sorry, the button in the center just looks fantastic. Now, in order to finish this off, all we have to do is adhere this panel to our five and a half inch square card base. What a great thank you card. It's just really such a beautiful card and it's perfect for sending to say thank you for a variety of different ways or reasons, don't you think? Lucky for us, we still have one more project to create because I'm not quite finished yet. How about you? Now we have one left, last card left and I've collated our materials right there. You can see them looking so pretty and perfect. I love that floral pattern. I think it's really so beautiful. And actually it's the first thing that we're going to do. We are going to cut a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel from the white floral paper. Isn't that so pretty? Now we're going to take that coral music note paper and we are going to cut a two and a quarter by five and a half panel from that and adhere it to the left side of the white floral panel. And we'll just use our tape runner for that. Those just look fantastic together. I absolutely love that coral with that floral. It's so pretty. Now the next step is to cut a quarter inch by five and a half inch strip from the green polka dot paper, and then we'll adhere it to the center of this panel. Again, we'll just use our tape runner to adhere that.
looking good, isn't it? Now our next step is to take the white grosgrain ribbon and we will cut a six inch length of it and attach it along the right edge of the choral music note paper on the panel and we'll adhere the ends of the ribbon to the back side of the paper like we did before. So again, I'll just run the adhesive along the ribbon. And again, I still love how it just sticks together so perfectly. And this also, once we adhere it to the paper, helps really smooth out any wrinkles that the ribbon might still have. I also, as a side note, really love the texture that the ribbon provides for these projects. It really just kicks it up a notch and it's so simple and really isn't intrusive at all but it just really adds an extra layer of dimension so now we're folding over those edges on the back side and now that we're finished we can go ahead and adhere this panel to the front of the a2 card base i'm simply going to add the adhesive in the corners and then just make sure i get enough and then a little bit extra in the center as well All right, now that's all complete. We've got our card base all ready to go for the fun part, which is of course the embellishing, am I right? Now we have a couple of pieces of ephemera that we're going to add to this card, and we're going to use our foam adhesive for that again. Now we're going to take that dream a little bigger circle and that pink and blue flower, and we're going to layer them and adhere them in the center of the card using the foam adhesive. That really provides such a nice contrast, doesn't it? That nice dark color along pops right out from that white and that coral background. I just love that. Now we still need to add our two flowers, the blue and the pink flower. So we'll just use our tape runner for these and layer them with the Dream a Little Bigger circle. Looks great, doesn't it? I love how that all came together. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to measure a 12 inch section of the grow grain ribbon and cut that off. And then we will also tie a bow with this one as well. So now I'm just trimming up the tails to make sure that they look nice and they are nice and polished and they're the correct length to coordinate with the loops of the bow. And I'm going to adhere this to the card by using a glue dot. Now we're going to adhere that at the top in the center of the Dream a Little Bigger circle. Look how cute that is, it's adorable. And we're going to do the same thing that we've done in the past with the white button. We're just going to use a little glue dot and adhere that to the center of the button. Isn't that so cute? I just love these projects. I hope you really did too. Now, let's take a look at some other stuff, shall we? Okay, so now let's look at the Clementine washi. You get four rolls of the washi, and you can see it's got some of that beautiful gold foiling. Some are a little bit more basic, some are a little more exciting and patterned that matches the 
but it all matches the collection. Now look at these buttons, the variety of sizes and colors, and then a few of them have this little detail on the outline, like an outline circle. I just absolutely love it. They're so cute, and they really just provide something really fun to all your Clementine projects. Now these enamel shapes are so cute because you not only get the hearts, but you also get the circles, and again, the wide variety of the Clementine colors and gemstones who doesn't love a little rhinestone for their project and again a variety of colors and sizes so you don't have to choose you get all of them it's wonderful now these pearls i love them they have a wonderful height and they have this beautiful sheen and again the same thing you get a wide variety of colors and sizes in each package i just love that and these are perfect to go along with all of your Clementine projects. But what about the puffy stickers? Cute little images, and I've already used the little butterfly. There's also a butterfly in the package, but I've already used that little guy, but they're so cute and they're perfect accents for all of your projects. Now, how can we use these guys? I know you can think of a way. So let's go ahead and use some of those products in addition to the projects that we just made, shall we? All right, so these are the projects that we just made and they're wonderful and I love them just as they are. But if you wanna kick them up a notch using some of our Clementine embellishments, let's do that. So the first thing that I did was I added some machine stitching off screen because I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me do machine stitching or have me do it while you were waiting. So I've added a little strip of machine stitching on the stripe paper and then did a little bit of zigzag stitching at the bottom as well. Now the first thing that we're going to do together is we're gonna add some stitching to that little button that I showed you. So I just used my paper piercer and I added some holes so that I would have a little bit less resistance when I was sewing. Because as you can see, we do have a few layers of patterned paper to sew through. Now, in addition, we did also use a glue dot to adhere this. So it is a little bit sticky and does provide a little bit more resistant when, resistance when sewing. Now, if you're not a sewer, because I'm not a sewer either, I do like to sew on paper, but that is it. I'm simply using a needle and some embroidery thread. You could use regular thread, you could use whatever you have on hand, but I like to use the embroidery thread it's easy to pick up a wide variety of colors and store that as well. So I'm just gonna tie this off on the back super quick, and then I'll finish that up with just a little piece of washi as well when I'm finished. It'll help keep that all together neatly. And again, I always like any excuse to use a little bit of washi, even if it's not being seen, I still really enjoy it. And especially with these Clementine washies, I get to look at that gold foil gold foil shimmer. Who knew that was going to be so hard to say? Now, if you want to pick up any of these Clementine products that we've talked about today, we have a special and that's 20% off your entire order. So you just use the code July 26, J-U-L-Y 26 at checkout and you can pick up any of those embellishments including the beautiful washi look at that this pink color is really pretty and then it just has the gold foil dots i absolutely love it but i definitely recommend any of the clementine embellishments because i couldn't even begin to pick a favorite i love them all okay so now we've added the stitching and then hand stitched the center of that button and it looks fantastic now, speaking of washi, we're going to take the eyelashes. Look how cute that is. That's gold foil on teal washi. And we are going to place a long strip right above, look right there, above the patterned paper strip, that striped strip. And I'll just add a little bit of washi right there. I love that it adds a little bit of more feminine detail with the little gold foil eyelashes. I'm just pressing down along there to make sure that we've got a good, it's adhered well to the page. So we're just pushing that down and then I'll trim the edges off on both sides. Now 
now we're going to do the exact same thing along the top. We're going to adhere the eyelash washi alongside the striped paper strip that I trimmed from that. Wait a minute, back up. We're going to adhere it to the paper next to the pattern paper strip. There we go. And we'll cut off the ends of the washi. And then we have this really beautiful little added feminine detail of the gold foil eyelashes. Super cute. Doesn't that look adorable? I just absolutely love it. It's a very simple addition, but it looks fantastic. And it just adds yet another texture. Now we're going to also include some of the enamel hearts from the Clementine collection. I am going to use, look how cute they are, just adding it to the little cluster of embellishments. We're just taking one of the little teal slash light blue, light teal, whatever you want to call them, hearts and adding them to the two little clusters. They're so cute right there. Now, we are also still not done because we want to keep dressing up this beauty, am I right? I'm going to take the Love Puffy Sticker, and I love these puffy stickers, by the way, because they're not too squishy, they're just squishy enough. And now, if you want to add some journaling, you can go right ahead and do that. Isn't that wonderful? I just love how that all came together, don't you? All right, so now let's work on the square card. I added some stitching around the outside of the card and then also on the striped pattern paper. You can see that I love that not only is it a really inexpensive adhesive, but it just adds some flair and some texture. Now, in order to cover on the inside of a card the stitching, I have simply trimmed a piece of patterned paper. It coordinates with the front. The card is five and a half by five and a half inches. And so I've just a hair smaller. And then I'll go ahead and adhere this on top of that. And then now you've taken care of not being able to see the stitching and then also adding a little bit of decor on the inside of your card as well. And plenty of room to write your message down below. Looks super cute, am I right? Now we're still not finished. We're going to add some more of those really adorable enamel dots. And this time I'm going to use a couple of the maroon hearts just to make a little bit more fun and interest on this card. But we're still keeping it really simple and really fun and easy to send for any occasion that you need to say thank you. Isn't that beautiful? All right, and last but not least, we're gonna dress up our Dream a Little Bigger card. And again, I've added a little bit of stitching, so we're going to do the same thing on the inside. We're going to take this little panel that I cut from the pink floral patterned paper, and we're going to adhere it to the inside so that we can hide the machine stitching. Sometimes when you're just trying to get it all lined up perfectly, things don't work out quite so well. But that's the great thing about these adhesives. It's most of the time, you can just peel them up and reposition and stick them right back down. So now we have the inside taken care of, and you cannot see the machine stitching that I added along the edge of the card. But now we're going to take a couple of these pearls, and we're going to make them the center of those flowers. And of all the things we've done today, I think this is my favorite bit. It's like they were meant to go together. They look so beautiful. It just adds the perfect amount of dimension and it just really adds something a little bit special in the center of that. Doesn't it look wonderful? But we're still not done. We're going to take a couple more of the flowers that were included with the ephemera. So if you break out that bag with the ephemera inside of it, we'll adhere these flowers right underneath so we're just doing a little bit more layering the pink will go right underneath the blue you see that right there it looks so cute and then we'll take the yellow one and adhere it underneath the pink 
Now the foam from the Dream a Little Bigger sticker is a little bit in the way, so I'm gonna have to peel that up and then stick this flower underneath just so we can get it all perfectly right. But it still works out great and we're able to layer these pieces all together beautifully. Thank you so much for your support of Keep It Simple Paper Crafts and of the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo at Home events. We really do appreciate you. Now don't forget to use the code JULY26, J-U-L-Y-2-6 at checkout, and you could take advantage of the 20% off your entire order. So you can pick up some of those embellishments and add them to your projects or a whole other slew of things to keep creating at home. Thank you so much and make it a great day. Welcome back everybody. Boy oh boy, I'll tell you, a layout and two cards. I, did anybody finish them? Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's a lot, but gosh, you know, it is so fun because, you know, um, Keep It Simple, I know that they wanted to have a kit that would appeal to uh, um, so many crafters, you know. Right. Some people just like to do the layouts right. and that's great. And like me, a card maker, I like to do both five and a half and a2 cards right, so right. it was nice to kind of see using the same prod the products right. in in doing different projects and you know once again you know you could add that five and a half inch card or the a2 card to, to um any this page or any page exactly. that you could use right. so That's and true. and a couple of things that she used um of course you know the ephemera i just love because you get all kinds of goodies in there right. and there's always extras in, in ephemera to to add or right. create a different project right. but you know i love when the project was that when they designed the project that they included the doily and just how that just made that it's an embellishment that just made a, a difference and and it was just you know such an easy thing and and i know vicky you have these in several colors don't you i, sure do. I love them doily i you do. do you do i do and, and of course finishing off every any project is is the 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 bow and the bow on that, the gift what that's what is that called grass grain ribbon rose grain Gr yeah yes. i love that ribbon it's just such a quality ribbon yeah, i love it yeah and and of course buttons so yes. all different types of of embellishments to use and and you can use, you know, any other, you know, take those projects and add, you know, your favorite embellishments too. So absolutely, like yeah. like um, Jenny was doing, she added, you know, some extra embellishments to the project. I think she added enamel dots. Mm -hmm. she yes. Added some pearls. Yes. And you know, like you can you can definitely do that. And you know, or it's beautiful just how it is too. It's awesome. It's yeah. Amazing. I am a scrapbooker. So I would love to make the scrapbook page, and I'm sure I could even add, make my own companion 12 by 12 um, uh, page layout. Exactly. Because it's just so pretty. I yes, love it. And yes. then, like you said, the ephemera is so pretty. I love ephemera. You can make so many things. I, yeah. I You know I love also to make embellishments. Yes, I was just gonna say, yeah, you're the so embellishment queen, I, I think. I would definitely <laughs> um, take apart some of the embellishments and, and add, little, you know, little happy meals for my friends. Exactly. So this kit yeah. could go a long way. Exactly. And you know, there, there's uh, a whole line of the Clementine product um, that, uh, that you know, you can add to it, like the enamel dots and the pearls and everything. Right, so, right. So there's just so many. Stickers yes. and all that. Yeah, yeah, all of those things. So I love the, um, I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. No, that's okay. I love that's the, fine. I love the uh, washi tape too. The yes. The eyelash washi. It's so pretty yeah so feminine so classic yes. i love it yeah it's and especially and especially with this line you know the, yes, clementine, the clementine line that she used so um, cute yes i it's love that it. elegance you know but right. still fun i mean gosh it's just a fun collection exactly. once again so how cute yes 
yes. so much fun. I know, and I, you know, I bet that you'll, you, I, Vicki has two beautiful daughters, and I'm sure that they would look good on that page, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, <laughs> they probably would. And I also like that they got this yes. paper caper, exactly. so you can put your your project in there, and you're ready to go. Yes. How cool is that? You could start, that. Um, some of them stay in my stash. Everybody got, we had three different ones, so everybody got kind of a different one, so. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, those are fun to hold it, and, uh, and to once again, that's your first uh, memory of our first at home mega make and take. Yeah. So another great place to store. Maybe you want to store all the projects from oh, uh, today's in there and then put it in the box. So right. um, it, exactly. it's and then you know reflect next year. And gosh, you know what? I know. I bet that the next, the first in person mega make and take that we have. I bet that we see some of these pizza boxes I'm sure so we people will. will be able to show us so we would love i would love to see that look look dave i got my pizza box yes, you know so that, that would be awesome. so much fun so well you know what i know that keep it simple is going to show you some great products and they're going to have a great sale coming up and also i know that jenny is doing a little special project as well. So yes. yet another project. So talented. I know, I know. So we will be back. So enjoy the Keep It Simple. Well, I couldn't resist. I had to share one more Clementine project with you. And I also wanted to share with you all the beautiful patterns included in both of the collection packs. I mean, they're just gorgeous. I know you want to see them. So let's take a look. This is the collection pack and you receive two of each pattern. And in this collection pack, also a sheet of die cuts. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So many gorgeous embellishments included for that low price of the collection pack. And like I said, you get two of each design. So you get to use the back side and the front side, and you'll definitely want to because there are so many amazing patterns in here. The colors are just spot on and the images are so beautiful. I can think of about a hundred different ways to use that. Does that pattern look familiar? That coral notes, remember we use that and this pink floral in our Maya Make and Take Extravaganza kit. Now I can see using this for feminine projects and I can use it for vintage projects. I even think you could probably make it work for some Christmas projects too, because there's some really beautiful details in here. Look at that, speaking of details, those dresses are super cute. Now I am really a big fan how saturated the colors are. And then there's so many beautiful florals. Who's with me? Who else loves florals? I love florals. And these have just the beautiful florals. I don't think they look like your grandma's couch. I think they look gorgeous. Now, butterflies on this beautiful pink. It's muted. It's lovely. And then tone on tone dots. Come on. Talk about usable. Now, I love this because the alphabets are awesome, super versatile. But then right there underneath is also some really beautiful pattern as well. Now, these two should look familiar, the stripes and that white floral, super cute. And that is the collection pack. So when you purchase this, you get all of those different patterns, two of each sheet on our 80 pound felt weave paper. Not the same paper that you received in your Mega Make and Take Extravaganza kit. Totally different, way higher quality, and the die cuts. Isn't that amazing? But let's look at the flip side pack. Now in the flip side pack, you get the same 80 pound felt weave paper, two of each design, but you know what you also get? You get a sheet of chipboard die cuts and they are amazing. I absolutely love them. Look at this Harlequin pattern. I haven't seen that in a long time. It's beautiful and I love the contrast with the black and white. And then the back has a really cool geometric print. So. If the florals aren't your thing, there are so many other beautiful designs and these colors are really, really awesome and super versatile as well. I think you're gonna really love them. Now look at this tone on tone floral. I love it, it's really unique and the roses are super cute. And then the back has this like hand drawn look. I just love it, it's really versatile. 
And like I said, look at the rich greens with the rich burgundies. I mean, I can see Christmas and animal print. Okay, maybe that's not animal print, but it looks like animal print to me. I just love it. And the triangles are super cool too. It's just a really versatile package of papers. And like I said, the print is amazing and the quality is just fantastic. If you've used any of our papers, you know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. Now look at these. These are chipboard die cuts. I love them. So many amazing embellishments included in this pack. Heck, I want to get to creating right now. Oh wait, I'm so lucky. I get to. But before I start creating, I want to share with you the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Now I know you'll be kind of bummed because I did use a couple of the stickers. I couldn't help myself and they're adorable and a great price and so many stickers included. But our paper keepers are where it's at. I know you received one with your Mega Make and Take Extravaganza kit, but you can purchase a package of three of these. So the first one, Crafty Girls, super cute. And then My Stash, adorable. You know they're a heavy weight. They have a snap and then a gusset at the bottom so it can hold a ton of supplies. Let me show you what I've stuffed into my current projects because we're gonna work on a layout together. I am super excited. This is just a companion to the Clementine kit. These are not the things that you received in the Mega Make and Take. I just thought I would share with you how I create a super fast Clementine layout. Now I trimmed up a sheet of paper from both the collection pack and the flip side pack and I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive on the back and I will adhere these to my eight and a half by 11 sheet of white cardstock. In the end, I am also going to add some machine stitching, but we don't need that for right now. We're just going to go ahead and assemble all of this together. And you can see the top floral pieces do have a diagonal edge. And what's cool about that is that the green pieces do not. And so it's still very square and very linear. However, the diagonal really just sort of makes it a little bit unique and a little bit different. Am I right? Now I printed a four by six photo of myself and a couple of friends, and I'm gonna trim that down to three and a half by five. The background is not important and I didn't want to include it. Now I also made this photo black and white because the colors in the original photo were not A, great, and B, didn't really coordinate with the Clementine collection, but I knew I wanted to use these two together, the photos and this collection. Therefore, I just turned it to black and white. Now I'm going to quickly add a white photo mat behind my photo and I'm just going to eyeball this one. You absolutely could go ahead and make it slightly larger. So in this case I could make it three and three quarters inches by five and a quarter inches, but I just decided to eyeball it and go with that. I love the little pop of white, especially on top of that floral paper. It's so pretty. Now, shall we begin? Let's pull out some embellishments. This tag is super cute. The text on it goes perfectly with my photo. And I just love having that embellishment to really pull your eye into the photo and to anchor the bottom of the page. So I'm going to adhere the photo there and then I'll do the same thing with the tag, overlapping the photo just a little bit. So I'll add some adhesive and then the bottom part of that tag will hang off. So I'll just trim that right off with my scissors. Now, as you can see, I need to add a little bit more embellishment. I mean, come on. Now, how about a cute little bow die cut? That's right, came with the collection pack. Now, I'm going to just add some foam adhesive to pop that right up, and then I'll go ahead and overlap it with the tag and layer it with the photo as well. Super cute. Now, I've also pulled out a little phrase sticker. It's actually not a sticker, it's a die cut, and I'm just going to adhere that down at the bottom as well. super cute, right? I love how that turned out. Now this frame is actually maybe one of my very favorite embellishments included. There's something about the text with the frame and the colors all together that I just absolutely love. And I'm going to add that right next to that photo. 
but on the top I'm going to layer a couple of the chipboard pieces just to pull it all together. Now finally I'm going to add my third cluster for my visual triangle and I'm going to use my wet glue for this frame just because the it's so thin I don't want to have any adhesive all over my desk. So now the 12 by 12 sticker sheets. A little bit of florals, a little bit more words. I always love a good little phrase sticker, don't you? Now adding that right there, so cute. Now we can really get started with the dimensional embellishments. First up, I'm gonna use a button because these buttons are just wonderful and the adhesive on the back is super strong and I love that. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to use one of the buttons that have the little outline. I love that feature on those, but this time I'm going to stick with some of the smaller ones. However, I will pull out these rhinestones and these are just really beautiful and I love the size on them. They really pack a punch because they're a little bit bigger. And these enamel hearts, I mean, I need to add one of those too, am I right? Oh, I'm right. Now last but not least, I will also include the pearls because they're absolutely beautiful and one of my favorite things about the Clementine collection. Now I hope you've I hope you've enjoyed this extra little peek at the Clementine collection. And if you want to pick up some Clementine for yourself, don't forget to use the code JULY26, J-U-L-Y-2-6, and you'll receive 20% off your purchase. Pick up all the Clementine collection and get to creating today. Thanks so much and make it a great day. Welcome back, everybody. I'll tell you, wasn't, oh my gosh, that extra project that Jenny did, wasn't that just cute? I love the way that she cut that paper and then put that, that beautiful photo of her on that picture, I or know. on the project, rather. And I love, you know, I never think about it, but you could turn any of your photos into black and white really easy, yes. and it just, it makes it look so nice. It does. I love does. that. It does. And gosh, I mean, the Clementine product line. I mean, how how awesome did that go with that project? I mean, you it's know the so beauty beautiful. of this line and all the goodies I that go with it. I love the green background paper with the floral. It's just so gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So beautiful. And I love, love everything about it. So I'm going to give you the coupon code for the Keep It Simple. It is going to be... 20% off the entire website. Wow. The coupon code is July 26. So that's J U L Y 26. That's and today. That is today. <laughs> it's my brother's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy brother. birthday, Jamie. I love you. I told him I would shout him out. I, I oh, hope he's go. watching. Um, I'm sure he is. <laughs> yeah, you can make him a scrapbook page for his birthday out of the Clementine I line. Could, there you go. I could. See how beautiful. <laughs> I could. But I love the Clementine line. As we said, they have the flip side um, path, they yeah. have the collection path, so many beautiful papers. Yeah, you know, the pearls, the rhinestones. Right? Yes. The puffy stickers. Yes. The uh, washi tape, like we saw in the Megan Bacon tape. Exactly. It's so pretty, so nice. Um, All the go-tos. I mean, that, once again, those are, you know, the, there's uh, the Clementine product can be mixed with other product lines, too. I mean, that, oh, yeah. they're beautiful. But when we got the rhinestones in, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful. It's bling, but it's a different type of bling. Right. Other than, you know, so, just. So, like, I know in the Mega Make and Take project, um, she didn't have the washi, and she didn't have the pearls, and she didn't have the enamel dots. Right. But like it's twenty percent off in the website, so yes. you could add the washi, the enamel dots, the pearls, yeah. the rhinestones, the All puffy the stickers, yes. and it would just you know add to that the the mega. It yeah. would be so pretty, yeah, and so so cute. I love that whole line. Yeah, and both the collection and the flip side, you know, go with yeah. all of that too. Right. And and you know the nice thing about the paper is is you know we have we get the advantage of. of a feeling of playing with it, but it's really, it's such a sturdy collection pack, you right. know, the papers it's and everything. 80, 
pound. In our first yeah. videos, I was saying 80 pound wave, and it was. <laughs> uh, I can't even. I don't know why I was saying wave. It's weave. Weave. 80 yes. pound weave paper. <laughs> yes. They told me I was saying that wrong, so I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. No. It's it's funny because you know we you know sometimes we hear things a certain way, but but. Yeah. The main thing is, is it it's is beautiful. a nice, heavy paper. It is. It's, you know, like, once again, I make cards, and, you know, I cut it, and it's just so pliable. You can add, you know, yeah. you can add all those embellishments, the rhinestones, the pearls, the washi tape, you know, another layer of paper, and it's still going to hold up. Right. You know, you, you know. And also, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet is so pretty. Yes. I love that. Every yes. time I pull it for an order, <laughs> I'm just like, this is so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. Exactly. So remember, everybody, 20% off. Coupon code is July 26. And also, you could, if you wanted to add like that we were talking about, maybe you wanted to do Happy Meal and add more and you really love this line and you really wish that you had a companion um, a page to your Mega. Well, I wanna tell you that you could buy another Mega. It's on sale on yes. the website for $12. Yes, get one for your, I mean, get, that could be a great gift for one of their friends that wasn't able to click, click, click. Exactly. Before we sold out, so. Right, <laughs> so you get the Mega, it's for $12, yes. and yes. you would get that on virtual.scrapbookexpo.com. So if your friend, and it sold out, and she loved this project, she tell, let her know that she could still get it on the virtual.scrapbookexpo.com website for $12. That would be perfect. Great. Well, thank you. Um, keep it simple for a great project. And we have another great presenter coming up. We have the one and only, I love her, Miss Ells from Elizabeth Craft Design. And we're going to go under the sea with her project. It's a beautiful, cute, adorable, adorable, cute so clam cute. card. So yes. enjoy Miss Ells and we'll be back. Hello everybody, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Welcome to the Mega Make and Take event, the virtual one. So uh, we are going to make this pop-up card, the shell pop-up card from the Under the Sea collection from Elizabeth Craft Designs, designed by Yo Set. So it's a little bit different because normally we have like everybody in the room and it's taking uh, a bit longer of course to explain everything so now i can do it all to you direct so uh, what i did is so you have the kids and what i did as well i prepared one that ha i did some shading on so if you want to get some ink out you can do that and uh, if you want to do it exactly as it is on the paper you can do that as well but we have enough time so grab your ink if you want to and uh, what I have here, the ones I use are these. Uh, so spiced marmalade, peeled paint, white honey and scattered straw. But honestly, it can be any like orangey green, a little sand tone or something for the shell. So it doesn't need to be those colors. Like just to edge the, like the crab a little bit, you see here on the edges and the shell a little bit. So if you want to do that, you can grab that. And we have time enough, so I'm going to leave you a minute to grab that if you want to. And uh, so we're going to work on this cute card. It's absolutely adorable. So this is from the Under the Sea collection. And the dies we use for this one is the shell, the shell one. That is this. So that's the pop-up. And it comes with the this one in there that we kind of put inside. So that's this part. And you can make that into a pop-up. But if you want to make it like a puddle of sand somewhere, you can do that as well. And I have another sample that I will show you in the second part after the make and take. That is adorable to work with as well. And this is the pearl that comes with it. And then we have the crab. So that's this one. So this is the crab. Comes with the... Um, his little house here and then the eyes but we're going to use googly eyes now but the die set comes with the eyes as well and then we use the seaweed here and the anchor from uh, this set here so and that is all you can find all those dies in the catalog and that catalog 
uh, you can get for free when you order something and let me not forget to tell you that the discount code for this uh, event is uh, expo 20 and expo 20 will give you 20 percent discount on anything you buy uh, also from the sales item but this is the under the sea collection that we're working with right now and this catalog is available online and you can click on it and then you get one for free because normally we hand those out to you at expo but uh, since we're not there you can get it for free online so that's the under the sea collection okay so uh, let's get started so if you got your ink uh, you are ready to go let me put the dye away so what i have here so we're going to make this one and i'm kind of going to work on two at the same time so you see the results uh, for both of them um so this is the pop-up part you see oh the other card sorry that's a shell card then you have your pop-up piece. So what you're going to do with your pop-up piece, you're going to fold it backwards first. So fold it like this. And then you fold it open. And then basically that part pops up right away. If it doesn't do that, you kind of give it a little push here in the back. So fold it backwards, fold it back, and then it goes like this. And then you kind of squeeze it here tightly. That is nice and sharp, a sharp folding line. So that's that. And I have that for the shaded one as well. And if you want to shade this, and of course, if you decide to kind of, you want to do the shaded, you can just watch and then uh, put it together after this part, of course, because I assume it, this will all stay for a little bit. Then we're going to take our double-sided adhesive. And we're going to put it on the back of this part, but make sure you don't put it on that pop-up part. Because that pop-up part needs to stay free, of course, because if you put your glue here or your ad adhesive, it will stick to the card and it's not a pop-up anymore. So we're going to put the double-sided adhesive on the back here. And again, if you think I want to make more and you buy the dye, you can do the regular one now and then you can do a shaded one later. Uh, and I will give you more ideas with the die set after we have done the make and take. And I hope because sometimes when it's uh, in the in the at the expo itself, of course, it's loud. So uh, right now you can actually all hear me. And then we, uh, myself with my weird accents, sometimes people have trouble understanding what I say which is normal i think in my case because it's a uh, i know i don't say any everything perfect but now it's more visual for everybody so that's actually a big advantage to uh, this event i think so um so we have that pop-up part now then make sure that you have because that shell has an embossed part that will be your top your front and then the flat part will be um on the back so make sure this is showing on the front then you open it then we take off all the uh, pieces of tape, or if you do a wet glue, you just do that, of course. This is our clear double-sided adhesive from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And now we get an important part, and I will do the same with the other one. We get an important part because we are going to hold this like this, you see, and then we're going to kind of put it together. Then you put it exactly in the folds here. And then close the card. And then you have the perfect pop-up here. So I will repeat that because that you can see that again. Let me take this one. There we go. And then we can start putting the card together. And it's a super fun one. Of course, I have the uh, I have the crab here, but you can do that with all the different uh, characters from this line. So here I have this one. And again, fold it. And it doesn't matter which part you have uh, on the top of the bottom. That doesn't matter. So fold it, hold it, put it in the fold of the cards here, and then close your cards. You see, and then you have your pop-up piece. So make sure that you have the embossed parts on the front because that's important uh, because that, that's how it needs to look. Alrighty, so here we have that one. 
now we're going to build it so what you have you have your crab here with his two claws you have some uh seaweed you have the red seaweed we have his little house here uh, we have the mouth and i think with most of them i was going to add double-sided adhesive on the back of the mouth and we forgot so i think most of you will have it without the adhesive on the back so and then you have your googly eyes and i have two pairs here and i will what i will do i will build this one now and i will build the other one later so you can um see that if i have time i will build the shaded one as well but let me focus on this one now so here you have your crab then you're going to take those googly eyes those have adhesive on the back so you can either do it with your nails i kind of pop in here with my uh, tweezer a little bit and then you lift up that adhesive but you can also take it off with your nails then you're going to put it because this uh crab will it has embossed lines you see so it has embossed lines where to put the mouth and where to put the eyes so i take my googly eye and i stick it on there and i see i'm off a little bit but then i can oh i can slide it loose again there we go that's kind of an advantage now because i have a daylight lamp so i can kind of see so for this one i'm going to do the same and i'm using our fine pointed tweezers here and most of you are familiar with that and now i need to see that embossed line it's here you see so now i have the eyes on oh with this one i have the eyes on already i see and i did this mouth already as well so then i'm taking a little bit of our kids choice glue i'm putting that on my finger and then i'm taking that mouth and i'm taking my tweezer just tip it in here at the end a bit get rid of that glue and then i Put it where oh a little bit too much glue make sure it's not too much glue just a tiny bit you don't you don't want to squeeze out that glue there and then i have my crab here you see and i can probably work on both at the same time because i think we're good on time and it gives you some time if you do the edging as well uh, to work on that you see so now we have the crab here and then we have that pop-up piece so now i'm going to uh, put the um, the claws behind the crab and they're going to be like here so sticking out of the body sides so what i did is i took some tape and you're going to put that where uh, where the arms will be because that will then i can just stick them behind there you see like that I do the same with this one so kind of where that body starts because they, then you can just stick those claws behind that part so doing this then you take this one kind of just attach it to the and you can of course make him uh you know move the arms so where you want them to be or the claws you can put them wider here yeah, you can you see you can put them wider you can put them closer that's wherever you want how you want that to look so that's that one and i'm going to do the same with this one so put the claw behind it and then with this one you see so this one i etched a little bit with the ink there we go you see so it just gives it a little bit of extras and normally of course because you know i cannot hand out all those inked at the expo and now i thought it would be kind of cool to show you different options um and this is the first time so uh, maybe we do things differently next time because i could have told you to get ink before but you know i kind of came up with that idea as we go so this again with the mouth there are pieces i know that are without tape and with tape so if you don't have tape on the back i'm sorry about that just uh, stick it on there with glue or adhesive because that's something we i know we did wrong with the first kits but then they were already ready so stick this on here and then with this one i'm just going to put a piece of tape on there or you can do some glue of course stick that on there and by adding the ink it gives it a little bit more depth so that that can be nice but and then again the crab will be in front of that then i'm going to uh, place this one and when you're going to place the shell like the little house on here you put your tape on that popper piece don't put it on here because again if that glue sticks out 
uh, your, if you cl close your guard, it, card, it will get stuck. So make sure you take tape or glue and put it on that proper piece. It's probably easier to just trim a piece. Makes it easier to put it on there. And don't put it all the way at the bottom. I need to say that as well. Don't put it all the way down because you see uh, it doesn't go like the shell has a round edge there. So it doesn't stick all the way to the bottom. So make sure you don't put it all the way to the bottom. And I hope you're all doing well. And normally I would say, do you have any questions? But, um, you know... We are doing this live, so we're going as we go. Okay, so now I take this off, so double-sided adhesive, take up the release sheet, and you place your shell on there. And then you close it and kind of press it. So we'll do the same with this one. You see, put it on here, and then press it. So that's that. You see, so now I have both my cards. Then I'm going to add the uh, crab, and I do that by adding an extra piece of tape because that one piece is not enough and the claws kind of raise a little bit on the back. So you want to make sure that it got stuck well. Don't put it all the way to the top because you can see his head sticks out a little bit. So I'm going to put it on the body, but not all the way to the top. So if you have a wet glue, don't put it all the way to the top. That's... And here, so that's that one. And I'm going to put this on there and almost like his, his feet will touch the ground, but not completely. And with ink, when you inked it, it might, it might be that it doesn't stick that well right away because sometimes inks need to dry and you do the same and you close it again. Yeah, and when you, yeah, when you do the ink, don't press it too hard because your ink might still uh, show then on your shell. Just thinking about that. So we're all learning here. So it's the, it's the first time for us as well to do that virtual event. So I hope it all works out for you. And of course, we're all anxious to know if it did, you see? So that's that one, you see? And it stands up perfectly. So now we have uh, the wishing you oceans of joy and that's from the stamp set that also comes let me show you that that also comes with the um with that same collection so uh this one so we're using the seaweed here we're using the sand crab and then we are using the splish splash sentiments there as well and then the oyster shell card and that label i have here is um actually from a planner essential so i thought it looked cool but um the lady that actually cut all the kits says else can you pick an, another one next time because uh it was fiddly to get all those pieces out so uh another one next time she said please so putting some 3d foam here and uh, then i'm sticking it on there and of course if you want to you can put a piece of twine through it later because that's kind of cool. And that's all things, of course, that come up later that you think, oh, that would have been cool. So stick this here and this one here. And I have a piece of twine with me. Let me show you that quickly. Where is it? So uh, for instance, oh yeah, this one, sorry. You see, if you have something like this and you kind of do that wiggly woggly over there, that would be cool to see, I think. But that's an idea. So then we have the, um, the anchors. So what you do with that, you can either put a little piece of tape there or you take a little bit of glue, but only a little bit because you don't want to make uh, that, uh, that it shows on your silver cardstock. So just a little tip. And I only do it at the top. And that's enough because I lay that kind of here over that label a little bit and then just press it down at the top. The same with this one, just a little bit of glue and then press that down at the top. So that's that one. And now we have the seaweed left. And you see here again, I etched it a little bit. And for that seaweed, I'm only going to put some glue at the bottom of the seaweed. Because that seaweed, of course, you want to have that a little bit like, uh, you know, moving. So you take a little bit of glue, put it on there and then just 
stick it and this one i kind of stick on the pop-up because then it pops up above that crab here same with this one you see that one and then we have the other three pieces oh that's on the front one on the back and that's you so you see i see i say that's on the front because when you die cut it kind of rounds the corner so that's why i can always clearly see what's the front and the back and i really like that um took some glue off i really like that rounded edge and that's what you always see with dye especially when it has uh, when it has embossed line on it like the crab itself and the car so i'm just tipping this in the glue here putting this here you see and kind of you can move it a bit so only put some glue at the bottom so at the top you kind of see some movement which i like in this case so that's that one how cool are these isn't that super cool and i will show you some samples when we're done because there are the most amazing samples of course you can find it on social media as well but uh on yeah all the cards are on our facebook page and uh, on our instagram and so elizabeth craft designs and for this card uh, for all the all the parts we used and everything on our website will be 20 percent off till the end of the month using code uh, expo 20. there we go so that's it so those are the two cards so now i have so you see when you cut those pieces that it's actually not that much work to make so this will be great invitations of course so they're super fun look at those and then i want to show you some samples and uh with the extra time we have here for the uh for this event i'm going to work uh with the same dies from the same collection and um show you a fun fun mini book to make as well so super fun to do so let me show you a few cards that we created using that same collection, just to give you some inspiration here. So I'm going to put that aside. So again, the inks I used is the Spice Marmalade, Peeled Paint, Wild Honey, and Scattered Straw. But it could be, in this case, it could be any ink or any, um, you know, any brand. So you just edge it a little bit like this. You see, that's what you do. Yeah, so that, that's basically what I did. So it's super easy. So, uh, and let me show you some samples that are created with the same collection. And then later on, I will use all kinds of things that use this collection as well. So this is the same one. And then um, without a red piece, and I made it in glitter. So in our silk microfine glitter. So I cut the same crap out of uh, cardstock with double-sided adhesive at the front. And then in this case, it's I used orange cardstock because I like it when I know for sure something is going to be orange. In this case, I choose orange cardstock because then you don't see white edges. So if you want to do it in glitter, you get this effect. Oh, this looks super fun. I will take a picture and post it later on our Facebook group so that you can kind of see what we did here. So that's that one. Then with the same uh, oyster, we did this one. So that is with the mermaid. And here you see the pearl that's from the seaweed uh, dye as well you see how cool is that and here we just have a rectangle label you see so that is with the same oyster dye then we have this one i had you know what I'll, I'll tell you these ones i had on the board so they kind of fall over because i had them on the actually on the expo board so i had to kind of have a system to close them as well keep them close so it's a little bit different and this one is fun to show you see that's a beautiful one as well and it has a little sand crab here and what we did with this one you can see there's pad and paper here so if you die cut that same die so this one and i will talk about it in the in the next segment as well you can cut this one trim it in half and then put it on the card. You want to trim it in half because if you fold it over around the whole card, the decorated paper, it will not fit. So you want to make sure that you have it there uh, cut. And then here I have some more samples, you see. So that's all with the same collection. I think your swale, this one. 
So there's lots and lots of samples. This was actually the one I was going to do at the Creativity Center with Lorraine. So that's the uh, little turtle with glitter. And then this is the whale again, I think your swale. So super fun. This is the little mermaid. And then I made this one as well. So that's with the same uh, sand crab, but I made a spinner and a slider card. How cool is that? And you see here, I did a little bit piece of twine as well. So uh, this is the spinners and the sliders. And uh, so same sand crab. And let me get the card back into the view here. So this is the card we created. And then this is the same, like the same crab, but as a slider. So this is it for my uh, mega make and take. And then uh, I'm going to show you some other fun things that we uh, create with the same series. So again, for you all, I hope you enjoyed it. And the code is uh, EXPO20 for 20% discount on the full collection. And um, can't wait to show you the rest. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. I'll tell you, one word describes that card. Cute. Cute. I loved it. So cute. I know. And, you know, once again, it's a, a, a project and the set, you know, the Under the Sea, where, I mean, everything is so interchangeable. But gosh, what great tips making that card. Don't you Such agree, Vicky? Such great tips. Oh, my goodness. I love every aspect of it. The colors, the, oh, my goodness, how cute was can you imagine cutting all these? I, how, yes, I can. <laughs> how awesome were all, how cute and all the little embellishments that that are in this project. I love it, the little googly eyes. I know, that so was cute. cute. That oh was my very goodness, cute. This is adorable. I love, love this card. I know, and you know, I, um, uh, I love how the pop-up, you know, how she showed how um, how the yeah. pop-up worked and what I really enjoyed are those little tips on putting that and making sure that you only put the adhesive you know so far in and so far down right. because like she said if you put your your adhesive or your glue in the wrong spot you're not gonna have a pop-up card you're gonna have a hold down card exactly. so so what great tips were those I also loved how she had the little the little um, crabs, oh, little, yeah. claws. little claws, like if you wanted yes. them like this, or if you wanted them more out, or you wanted, you know, and it's however, and her beautiful um, uh, tape. Yes. Elizabeth craft tape. I really want that too. I mean, yes. There was just so many things that I saw that I would never have thought, like, to think about, you know, exactly. how easy. And how about the tip? I, this was so cute. I loved how she put the little glue on her finger. And she, you know, you only need a little tiny dabble yes. on things that are intricate like that. Exactly. And you know, you have that little white glue there and you just have the little piece of seaweed and boom, you yes. know, I thought that's genius. Well, what I need a tip from her on is how that you, I mean, she did it just gracefully, but how, I want to know Els, how you just keep that glue on your finger and do this because if I would glue like that, like I paint, I would have more glue everywhere else other than <laughs> other on the little pieces. You're, know? You're, My you're, card would probably fold like this. Your finger gets stuck to your hair. <laughs> That's right. Because you, you always do. I'm always messing yeah. with my hairs. <laughs> but I mean, you know, just for, but you know, like you said, just... Yeah. You, you don't need to wallpaper that piece of paper. You just need enough for it to stick. And, you know, when you use like the Elizabeth Graff, Elizabeth Crafts tape and that adhesive, you know that that's a quality yeah, product. Exactly. And, and that tape tears so easy, you know. I've used different tapes, you know, and I've tried to go the, you know, some sometimes the El Cheapo way is not the way to go yeah. because of the way it doesn't tear. And it, you know, it almost right. like frays and it's not right. easy to hold down. So, and she was putting such small pieces, you know, on there right. too, so. I like also, Dave, how um, because we're all at home and so we're probably all around all of our craft supplies. So originally, had you been at the shows, you might not have ha been able to have all your craft supplies with you, not unless you're some of the crafters that come with their bag yeah, wagon. Yeah. So, some that people do bring all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, now that you're at your craft desk, you could probably get your inks and ink 
all the pieces if yes. you wanted to, if you want that added dimension and color to the pieces. Yeah. It, so that was nice how she gave those distress, uh, what was it? They were yeah, distress inks. Yeah, yeah. On and the, the Tim Holtz distress inks on the edges of the Exactly. That's cute. Yeah. And you know, just that little bit, you know, some people, you know, like she said, you don't have to ink, but gosh, it just added that little bit of something, right. you know, like just a little dimension or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so and, pretty. Yeah. And you know, just like you were saying earlier, you know, just like, um, uh, with the, with the glue, that maybe not have been an easy tip, you know, being in person to be able to show. So that was just a great, um, just, just great tips. I right. think that the whole right. thing was. And that's was. what's so nice about the virtual, like, there's more things that we that they could teach us too. You know, this is nice if we're looking, you know, at exactly. the positives about it. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's another great. presenter coming up. Well, you know what? Before that, Miss Els is gonna have some specials. You're right. She That's is. A, yes, yes, yes. So Let's so she it. is going to have some great products. So everybody We'll be back, so enjoy some more products from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yes, ma'am. So starting with the second part of our uh, demonstration, so um, I added a little piece of twine here because I thought that looked cool. And um, I'm going to work with the same series of dies here and I'm working on a mini book here. Super fun to do. So uh, this is what I did so far and I'm just working on it and it's going to be a combination of the Under the Sea collection and some circles uh, like that I can put pictures in later. So I kind of want to make it for the kids. So, um, but of course, if you want to make it for yourself, like for adults, it will be super fun as well. So I will explain a bit more, see how much time I have. But you see, I prepped it. I could paper here and this paper I have very single sided. So I have like a blank page and then a printed page here. I added something already. So uh, super fun to do. I add all the reinforcements already there. You see, and this is, I will explain you how that works in a second as well. So just prepared. Here I have actually a pop, I put a pop-up in there as well. Because I thought that would be cool. So I left that one complete. Let's see what else I have. Oh, here I have the lighthouse. And then I have, here a picture of the kids, uh, the grandkids. And that's actually on the, in the Netherlands, on the water. So I kind of want to make it like water beach theme. So this is on the beach. Um on a trampoline the sand crab that we used for the card for the make and take we actually have that in a small version because he's so super cute and uh, i added the shells there that comes with that set with the small one and then here i just have paper with waves so i can play with this hours and hours ahead of me so that's a mini book and I, let me show you quickly another mini book that i created using the um dies from the planner essentials so that is actually a double heart this one and you can do that as well so make a fun mini book of that one so first what i do so making these pages you saw i had one full one in there so that was just this one same as the card and then uh, with the pop-up but then you see i have three holes in there so what i use for that one and if you only want to do two, you, you can use a perforator. But I used three here. And I used a strip here, this strip, from the uh, Sidekick collection. So that one I can just line up here and then run it through. Make sure you line it up. Uh, where the, the, So the cutting edge on this side, of course. Because if I would do it this way, which I did the first time, then I would actually cut off this part. So if you want to use this die from either the Planner Essentials or the Sidekick Collection, because the Planner Essentials has the same strip in one of the die sets. You just line it up here and run it through, and then you have your holes in there. And uh, uh, Sidekick Collection, let me show you quickly, but if you watched um, the Christmas in July event, you've seen it already. This is our Sidekick Collection. So super fun to use as well. So uh, the shell card. So what I did for the book, you die cut this one, and if you only cut this one, this part, you actually have embossed lines in all your parts. But in this case, I just cut the full shell, and then you trim it in half. So you just take your scissor or your trimmer, and you trim it. And I think it's easy to cut because you see a fold line there. So then you have your two pages. 
So what you want to make sure of when you die could it that you have like because this is a certain pattern If you have a random pattern, it doesn't matter But like I like to because these are birds on the back So I don't want to have it this way because then the birds are upside down So that's the only thing you kind of uh, want to watch what you're doing You see so this one uh, can go here you see like that and then this one is actually the down part so that would be go like this so that's kind of you know when you figure it out how that works you can uh, add that this is also the part that i talked about in my make and take so if i want to do a uh, like a decorated paper on the front of my uh, shell card i can actually create it i can do this one you see and then i can adhere this on here and you want to trim it in in half because if you glue this and you take the whole die set the whole paper and you fold it around it it will not line up here so that's why you need to cut it in two if you want to put a decorated paper on your shell card that we just created so that's just a little tip there and um so let's get started i am going to bring in my glitter tray because i want to glitter um and put the little um the turtle uh, together so that's this one and i'm going to make it in glitter so what i have here so i have all the parts here cut out of double-sided adhesive with the tape on top and again when i uh, cut this one uh, we have the uh, i choose gr uh, green paper because then you don't have a white edge there so if you look at this one you see it's dark green so i use the uh, this one that is the forest green and again, 20% of everything when you use code EXPO20 till the end of this month. Month. Then I have the soft green for this one. So let me show you. So what you do first, I'm kind of going to put it together and then do that light green. So um, for this one, I'm sorry, I'm going to do the dark green first. I say that wrong, sorry. So I'm going to take this off. And then take this part that kind of goes on here. So you kind of make a little bowl with your hands or, and try to line it up perfectly. You see, So now that's already sticking. So where that uh, dark green will be, I'm just rubbing it down with that. Well, you can use your release sheet of, on that for sure. Make sure you rub that down. Then I'm going to do the forest green first. Let me put this aside. So just sprinkle it in there, brush it off, and then sprinkle this side, brush it off. So now I have my, and normally at the expo, Lorraine would have teached you this one. Because as I said earlier, this was going to be our project for the creativity center. So tap it off, and then of course you're going to polish this one. So that's the forest green I'm using here. So just rub that down to make sure it's sparkly. So that's now okay. Then I have all my other parts, like these ones. And I'm kind of going to see, and uh, when you uh, ask for the catalog, and uh, you can actually have, so you have samples on the packaging, of course, but you can also, so you get this one for free. So you also see that card here, you see? So it's actually in our catalog as well. And that catalog is for free. Just uh, when you buy something, uh, look it up and then you can um, just add it. So I'm going to take his hat. So I'm going to take off that release sheet. And then I'm going to take this and I kind of line it up here. So I just stick it because now that's sticky, of course. So I stick that there. Then I'm taking one of the... Um, of his, I don't know how you call it with his turtle fins. I don't know, I need to look that up. So, here. We can put it in the comments how it's called. No, because, yeah, you can actually, you're watching, so you could put it in the comments. So you stick this here. It's a little bit low. So I use that adhesive that's actually on there already to kind of put it together. So you see, it's super easy to do. And you take this one. And then uh, on the card you see I use the ocean, like the edges that come with that. Like that one. And then this little tail. 
So look how super easy this comes together. There you are. Then I'm going to remove this layer as well because it's also going to be in the soft green. Make sure you don't touch your sticky. I can just drop it in there. You see how easy that is? And then just sprinkle that soft green. And then I'm going to pick them up from hiding in that soft green. And now you think that that soft green is everywhere, but no, that's not because I already polished that moss green. You see, so that dark is coming back again. And then I'm only going to pull it. Well, I will brush it off even more just a second. And then I am going to polish this one. You see. And this part as well. And then for this one, I choose the googly eye. And I will glitter one more item. You see, so this is our, uh, uh, our silk microfine glitter. And then, of course, our tape is on sale as well with 20% discount. So you can get that as well. So tap this off. And then the other one I took. Let me tap this one off over my trash can here. And I have my little box, my little cardboard box. So this one, let me add the googly eye to this one. And again, all the die sets actually come with uh, eyes, but uh, I love the googly eyes and I know for sure that kids love it. So I thought it's fun to use. Oh, I didn't take it off yet. And these are one, ones are adhesive. If you don't have adhesive ones, then you can of course just add glue. Uh, and I see a circle here. So I can clearly see, and you cannot uh, see this for sure, but I can clearly see that there's a line here where I put that eye. So for me, it's very easy to line it up. So that one is now ready. And then I'm going to glitter um, the octopus because the octopus is super fun. I have the whale here as well, you see in glitter. And then I have that octopus here, which is super fun. You see, he is just adorable. And that's just orange. So uh, again, I choose orange cardstock. And then I'm going to uh, make it orange. Put that away. And then... Take the orange, don't touch. And if you don't want to touch the sticky, there's always a piece of release sheet that you can use to kind of hold it. And now I can hold it here because that's now glittered. But you saw me, if you've been at Expo at Elizabeth Craft Designs, you've seen me glittering away a lot already. So here we go. And then put this back into the jar. And then close that. I just took a new jar. There is too much glitter in there. And then you're going to polish this one by just doing a circular motion. Or just rub it like this. And then he is super sparkly. And then I'm going to add the regular eyes to this one. So to give you the idea how you can use those as well of course so that's that and those are these so that set of eyes with the octopus it's uh, like the white one and then you have the black one to go with that you see so um and what i did i cut it both at white with adhesive on the back and then i uh, colored the black ones using a permanent marker like the sharpie so and with this one there's also embossed lines and i should be able to see that one as well let me see Oh, with this one, it's harder to see. Oh, no, I see them. Oh, no, I see them here. So it goes here. I was looking up too high. <laughs> and I think um, we have some buy it alls as well. Uh, I don't know if that's still available for this one. But if you're looking at the collection, make sure to check that out. Because you get 20% off our buy it alls as well. But I don't know if that's with this series. And check out our sales section as well. Because you get 20% discount over all the sales. And most of it over there is already marked down 50%. So on top of that 50%, you get another 20% till the end of July. Using the code EXPO20. How cute is he? And I have a little hat for him as well. 
this one so that comes with a little uh, stripe on there as well and then i'm going to stick that one on here so that's that one that one i also have the treasure chest to put together and then i should have time left to put all those fun things in um in the little book and i have like the this I have some seaweed already so this is the treasure chest so it comes like this and then i have the silver cardstock here and that has lines here that you can clearly see where to put that this piece goes on the top and then we have the money as well so this one goes here so lines are super easy if you uh, put the uh, if you put that adhesive on the back there you see you see the little marks there from uh kind of the screws or the this is i love this treasure chest i have to say love it love it love it and then i have this one so it's kind of a solid piece that goes here and then we have the extra coins and i cut that one twice because i think it's you know i have some extra coins for the for the bottom of the sea and then this is the little lock here that i have goes here you see how fun this is think about doing this for kids or you know when you, when you do a cruise or whatever at one point again not now possibly but um it's it's fun to kind of make an album and from a like a, an earlier holiday or just a day at the beach of course it doesn't need to be uh, a holiday it can be just a day at the beach or something you did before the whole corona Thing started to happen or we'll just make it a fun book for the kids this one and then this one so again and then I have some extra coins I do one more here and then the rest will go at the bottom of the sea so it's kind of spilling over so those are those and then I can just start uh, putting them in my little book how cool is that here and then you just what i do is you know i just uh, look for pages and then i think oh that's cool there or that's cool there so um i'm just going to flick through so here i will do a picture and i did not bring because i'm not at home at the moment i did not bring my circle die i had two left but we have the stitched uh, the stitch dies we have scallops we have uh the uh the plain ones so i thought that would be cool because it kind of fitted nicely in the shape of that shell so that's why i thought it was cool to use that one so um and i can just start building i have some shells here as well those are cool to use so i'm just going to flick through the book and see where i want to have that like this would be nice on the orange you see i like that and let me show you oh how i did these ones the waves so i need to explain that as well where are my two separate shells oh here so what i did for those so i took like a plain paper that kind of matches this color and let me get the die sets because i used that several times throughout the um so i use these ones and let me see which one this is because it's from the same series let me check it is so you see all the samples in here eh? so you get that when you place your order but you need to click on it so it's not coming automatically you need to click on it because some people have it already and uh, let me see that's not here oh this one ocean edges so that's the one i used for uh what i'm showing you right now so um what you do so you cut your pages and then in this case it was like in a plain color then you take one of the edges and in this case i took this one you see and you cut that and you can either put it here at the bottom or you can put it at the top so as you see this uh, through the book you see i used those ones so you cut the page and then you cut uh, the edge and if i have it at the top here i first cut the the holes there as well and then did it did the edge or the other way around it doesn't matter but that's how you make those edges there you see so that and uh, here we have the scalloped circle you see there's another circle there oh i had this one and i wanted to put like one of the creatures in there one of the sea uh, no, let me see. I did this one. 
but this one is really cool now because I don't like that with the red. Can I use this one kind of slide? Oh, I think that's cool. Look at that. Isn't that super fun? I love that. Okay, it's go this one is going there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some tape. And then in this case, the picture will be on that side. And maybe some I don't put pictures. You know, that's all up to you. You can make it. It's your album, your mini album. And you make it any way you want, of course. I'm just going to cross over here. And I am going to cross over on this side as well. Because then I secure those legs extra. Or the fins, sorry. I didn't know. I need to look it up. Or it's in the comments already right now. So this one. So I did the seaweed here. I did the anchor. Kind of put a little twine around the seaweed. Have some rocks here that comes in one of the sets. And this one, because I didn't put that seaweed all the way down, I can kind of slide that turtle. Oh, this is tail can go over. The fin goes under. I'm not going to get it stuck yet. And then, oh, he's cute. There you go. How cool is that? And I will take pictures of all the pages that I have done so far. And I will put those uh, on our Facebook group. Um, and I will schedule that for the uh, for after the event. So uh, that you know where to find the idea. So this will be on the Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, Facebook group. So you can find it there. Oh, that's fun. I kind of can do that. Yeah, so he's there. Okay, and then I have that um, octopus left. Where am I going to put that one? So here you can see, so this is actually the part. So the part you see here is the other side from... No, that's not true. I know I have that part in here. Wait, I want to show you that because you can use both, of course. Uh, let me see. I know I have it in here or not. I think I do. Let me find it. Oh, this one. You see, so this is the top part from this one. So that has that was one page. And when you cut this one, of course, the other part is this part. So you can use both. And now uh, I'm going to see if I put it like here or... Oh, I like it here. I'm going to put it here. And then uh, I'm going to put that treasure chest with him. Because that's just such a great combination. Because he's kind of... Let me see, because this is, if I want to kind of, because I love this, that is kind of, you know, kind of watching the treasure chest, guarding the treasure chest. So if I want to kind of put it like that, I add this over and then this like this. How cool is that? Just so fun to do. Like, how did I have it there? Oh, this goes under a bit. Oh, like that. Okay, like this. Let's see how it fits then. That fits exactly. Or I need to put it a little bit lower. I can also make a different combination, of course. I can have him kind of swirling above the treasure chest as well. So let me put, I'm just going to put um, adhesive, or I can put this way, maybe the other way around. Oh, that's fine. I can do that. And then, so I'm going to put a tape behind here first, but only at the body so that I have those legs, kind of those uh, tentacles. I only know that in Dutch. Tentacles. I don't know how it's called in the US, in English, sorry. And uh, so I'm going to put that one here. And then um, I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this one. I only need it like at the bottom part, that's fine. And then I can kind of figure out how those, uh, ten, like the tentacles, only in this, sorry. That's stupid, but that's what it is, don't know it. So I am going to... And it doesn't need to be straight because that, that the box, because it's kind of falling down the bottom of the sea. So that can go in an angle as well. So I'm going to stick this down and then I'm going to kind of fish this one up and going to put it over there as well. And you see, so now he is watching that one. And then I have some seaweed that I can put behind it. I want to edge that a little bit. Let me do that quick. My time is running up fast. So again, um, Expo 20 for 20% 20 discount. I, oh, tentacles. Oh, it's, oh, Yup is coming down from upstairs and he says it's the same tentacles. Okay. Learn something today. Always good, of course. So just edging this a bit. Oh, I might think that's too strong. And here I have this one as well. I thought that would be cute. I might, you know, he can hold that one here. 
so it's kind of trying to hold on on everything oh that's cool with the stripe paper okay fun so that one i'm going to do a little bit of wet glue and then uh, the seaweed there so expo 20 for 20 percent discount runs oh this has adhesive on the back runs till the end of the month end of july on the elizabeth craft designs page don't forget to uh ask for the free catalog as well and then um check out our social media so elizabeth craft designs elizabeth craft designs uh facebook page and then uh, instagram of course but also um also our uh youtube channel because uh i have a lot of youtubes already and i do a lot of facebook live so there's lots and lots happening and the shells i need to do on a different page i have this one already as well so just you know you have those elements and then you can play with it how cool is that one i love it so now i you know my time is up but i will keep on playing so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and again the under the sea collection from elizabeth craft designs 20 percent off using expo 20 thank you all and i hope you have a fantastic day and see you next time welcome back everybody my gosh, Vicky, wasn't that an adorable mini so album? So adorable. Using with that dye. I oh mean, my oh my gosh. So versatile. Exactly. I mean, you know, um, and she used multiple um, different products that she has, you know, right. from her essentials line, as you know. I'm, uh, uh, I have a lot of the planner dies, so, and I've used them in different ways, just like she did as right, well. So, right. so but, cute. but that mini album was just adorable, you right? know, and, and you could use that with several of her different types of dies. I mean, exactly. Like yeah. she said, cutting it in half and, you know, layering it on the card stuff to give it that extra volume yeah. and, you know, making each page in the mini album. A different uh, cardstock. It would be so cute. Yeah. And then the, I liked how she was. It was like a cardstock, and then a little die with another little, you know, C. Yeah. Uh, scene. <laughs> so, yeah, something, something that related. And it was so cute. The yeah. little, oh, I just loved it all. And the, the other, mermaid and all that. I, can't I know. I know. I, well, you know, we, you know, we love all that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. all right. We get excited. See, we are probably more excited than you guys exactly. are. Exactly. And and you know. Um, uh, uh, like she was saying is that she would go ahead and pre-make all the pages, you know? So, so, right. you know, I know that she does a lot with her grandkids cause it's on Facebook. So she's able, you know, let's say that she's planning a trip to the beach. She can go in and start doing her pages like that, right. get all the cute things and then add different photos, you know, the grandkids. And I do also like that she added that little pop-up in the middle of the mini album too. So just, you know, just, so cute. you know, when somebody, you know, if you say, hey, look at my mini album and they're going through it, you know, look at this cute page, look at the picture of the kids, you know, look at the fish, look at the, you know, the right. beautiful scenery. And then they get to the pop-up card. So pop-up pop card part. So, you know, the mini album, you know, it could be all, all full of different surprises. Like exactly, that, you know? so, so cute. I loved everything. And so if you loved everything, I want to give you the coupon code, okay? It's going to be till the end of July. So you have a little, wow, little bit yeah, of time. a few days. A few days. <laughs> okay, so the coupon code is EXPO20, and you will receive a 20% off discount on the entire website. So that's pretty good. Wow, wow. Yeah. And, and, you know, her dyes, you know, we kind of talked a little bit about, you know, using other products. And one of the um, uh, samples that she showed was that heart dye from one of her planner essential dye sets. And I literally used that dye and made car, uh, Mother's Day cards oh, because really? it was a heart. It was beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, and I actually used different parts from different dye sets. So, you know, I even interchanged the one that just came with the, all the little hearts and love things on it because I always That's like to add true. little die cuts, you know, and everything. Right, so, right. so once again, her products, you know, are so versatile with, with, you know, interchangeable and to add, 
you know, uh, to to all of her, all the projects. So. Exactly, so cute. And then also what I was, what I've always been interested in, but like I said, we never had time to like really sit and take a class or a workshop, the shows, because we were always working, but I was always interested in her glitters yes. and her adhesive papers. And so it was so nice to be able to see it on camera here, you know, on, on the video. Exactly. To see how to actually use it. So you die cut using the adhesive sheet. Yeah. And then you put that beautiful glitter and then how she kind of just twirled it to make sure it was... Yeah, burnish it, I think, is the right word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah burn, um, yes, I think that's To make it. it look like that really beautiful coloring and that was really neat and yeah. seems so simple i know imagine it's... the possibilities i'm thinking we have like thousands of dyes I... you can make yes. anything glittery yeah and you know what and i love you know i love the turtle die because i used to have a turtle his name was oh. big eddie um he was about this big when he was little but and the and the you know and the whale she did i mean it was so just cute. just just makes it pop so you know, once again, it's just those little things that add to it. And like so you, you true. like since you're the embellishment queen, you would make all kinds of embellishments. So, sure. so thank you so much, Miss Els. We love you. And and oh, I want to mention her new sidekick uh, line is just awesome for the little smaller planner. So, Ooh. so coming up, we have Miss Karen from Be Creative. And oh my gosh, remember we talked about we're going to be coloring cupcakes i guess so stick around and enjoy miss karen from be creative and enjoy that sweet dessert project Hi, I'm Karen from Be Creative. I'm here with a Mega Mega Take project. We're going to be working with alcohol markers. This is the project that you got. And what are alcohol markers? What's that all about? We're going to be working with Spectre Noir Tri Blend markers. Here's some examples of fun things you can color with them to create that lovely light to dark shading. Um, you can get pretty intricate or you can be pretty basic. Um, and this is some examples of stuff you can do just coloring on um, embellishments, buying plain things, and coloring them to match. So let's get into it before we color the project because I want to take you through a basic one, two, three of shading. Um, some of the very important things, whether you've been coloring a while or never in your life, that you need to understand to be successful with alcohol markers is the type of paper and ink. So I really like a good alcohol marker cardstock. We've got it in 20 and 50 sheet packs. I think you'll find, especially when we're doing this project, that it really makes a difference having the right paper to take on that ink to allow you to blend. You really don't want to work with something like um, a, a basil too grainy. The ink's going to bleed sideways. You don't want watercolor cardstock too fibrous. It will pill and rip up as you color. You really want something that's formulated for your alcohol markers. You will get bleed through. You just don't want bleed sideways. So I recommend highly you get specifically a cardstock for that. Other important things, think about ink. Your ink when you use alcohol markers needs to be a water-based um, ink. Opposites attract. So if your markers are made out of alcohol, you wanna use an ink that's not alcohol because if they were the same, they would bleed right together. So what's opposite alcohol? That would be something water or dye-based. Memento's a good choice, but I know it's tough to get memento nowadays. The manufacturer, it's been a little tough. So I really highly recommend Finesse. This is by Spectrum Noir. Just make sure you select the one that says alcohol proof dye, specifically for alcohol markers. Some other fun things, sparkle pen, eraser for ink, um, the blender ink, all those kinds of things, but we won't get into that now. Let's get into the coloring. Okay, so let's get right into the project that looks like this. And we've got the card, envelope, backing paper, an image, plus a marker, and a little how-to sheet all in the kit. And just to reiterate, if you are watching this and you did not get a kit because I know the Mega Make and Take sold out really quickly, we do have some kits left on our website and we're simply charging the amount that it would cost us to ship them to you because we want to get this in your hands so you can try the markers 
and learn something new. So if you didn't get a kit, you can still get one. So, okay, you've got this, and you may or may not have, this is a fair skin blend that's in this kit. Some of you may have the ice blue blend. Um, these kits were done in conjunction with Crafters Companion, who is our retail partner on this, and the pen may vary, but the technique is all the same. So let's get into it. You will notice uh, you've got your image where it's partially colored. We did all the other colors for you and what we're gonna be coloring is the wrapper. So now when we're working with the tri-blend marker, it is an alcohol marker as we've been talking about. And the nice thing about it is because you don't have to figure out what colors go with what. You've actually got three different markers in one pen that looks like this. And you'll notice on the barrel, it's gonna say light, mid, and dark so you know what shades you're working with. They're gonna be within the same color family here, just a slight shade apart. So you're gonna get that gradual dark to light blend. Now, what I have to, to before we color this, to kind of demonstrate what we're gonna do is um, I have another kit um, that's on my website if you wanna get more in depth into coloring. Um, it's this lovely little succulent card and that's up uh, in the category of the Expo Make and Take on our website. And um, in that, there is a shading card in that little class kit. And I'm going to use this just to show you how to shade. So I've got um, a, a little box here. So this is how I'm going to approach it. And now you'll notice I have a piece of paper under me. I've got an alcohol marker piece of card stock under me because you will have bleed through. You don't want bleed sideways, but bleed through is a good thing. So I'm going to start by, um, I'm looking at a box. I am no... Uh, physics major, but I do know that like the the dark part of the box is probably going to be on the side and then I'm going to shade in here and then this will be the lighter part on the top here, something like that, um, which is similar to like this, how I've shaded this. You can kind of see that. So we're going to take our pen and looking at the barrel here, I've got my light. I'm going to start with my light and I'm going to take the top of the pen and we're going to do that guy light like this. And I'm just doing this quick and dirty to show you a basic shading, how we do it. Okay, so I've got my light there. I'm going to also do the light on the face of the box, too. Light on the face of the box. And I'm not too concerned about my strokes because, again, it's going to kind of blend as you mix your colors and those stroke lines will somewhat go away. We're just really concerned with getting color down. Now, on the side, I will do my dark my FS8 dark on this particular pen, but any of the tri-blends, it'll say light, mid, or dark. So that's dark, so I've got that like that. So I've got that going. Now I wanna do the shade, so light's hitting the top. I'm in the shadow here, and I wanna hit this with a blend, so I'm gonna to go to my dark color. What happens is we start and we end and blend with our lightest color. So on this particular square, which we're gonna blend from a dark to a light, I started with my lightest, then I'm gonna to go to my dark, my very darkest. And here I'm gonna put the dark like this. Da, 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 da. Get some dark down like this. Oop, not very straight, that's okay. So I've got dark, then I go to my mid-tone. So light, dark, mid-tone. And I'm gonna do my mid-tone. I'm gonna halo it right up next to that dark color like that. So I've got kind of a stripey thing going. I've got light, mid, dark. I go back to my light, lightest color. And here it's a combination of my pen tip adding pressure. I have really great paper I'm working with. I've got alcohol marker cardstock and I'm going to use this as my mixing spoon. I'm going to blend all of my wet ingredients. So I am just pushing from my dark through my mid into my light. I'm dragging. You can hear it. And I'm trying to dilute basically these three colors to get one gradual dark to light. It's kind of like I said, you're making a cake, you've got wet ingredients and these are your beaters and I need to pull it to dilute it, but then it's going to get blotchy here. I need to color, uh, carry the color all the way to the end like this. So now you can kind of see how this is taking you dark to light. I did it here with purple and with green. Whoops, it's taking you dark to light as I blend it in. That's how we basically do a blend. So let's switch to our cupcake now, because that is our project at hand. Here I've got a wrapper, so whether you have the ice blue or the fair skin, either color is gonna work, because I've had plenty of cupcake wrappers that are kind of this weird, it's like a yellowy orange color. 
from the cupcake box. So here I've got an image that has folds, like the wrinkles of the cupcake. So one side's in shadow and then it gets lighter on the other side. That's kind of the principle we're gonna go by. And the other thing that's really important to keep in mind, these were printed, they weren't stamped. When we stamp with our um, Memento or Finesse ink uh, to work with alcohol markers, that's gonna give you a nice crisp stamped image. And that ink is not gonna come up, it's not gonna mix because it's opposite of these markers. But when we have an image that's a digital image, which there's lots of them out there, it gives you a lot more um, opportunity to print and color more images when it's not just a stamp. Um, you can do that, but sometimes that toner or that ink, depending if it's a laser jet or it's a copier, it will lift. So what I try and do to minimize that is I try not to just color over heavy black lines because yes, there will be a little bleeding. So I just wanted to say that from the outset because you may experience that. We just need to be mindful of where the black lines are when we're working with images that have been digitally printed. So here, looking at this cupcake, let me come back to, where's my lovely sample? I've got a couple samples here. I'm moving stuff around. You ever lose? stuff on your table so I've got like this blue or this um, the fair skin one you'll notice it's like I've got kind of a dark mid light and then I do actually I've left a little white space I want it to look kind of like watercolory kind of how this print is up here where it's not fully solid it gives it more of a natural look so we're going to concentrate some of the dark tones on the bottom and we're going to concentrate the dark on one side of the cupcake wrinkle getting into light and then you'll notice on this side and this side of the cupcake whoops, over here, this side and this side, I'm gonna use my dark tones. So let's start with my dark marker and I'm gonna just color in. I'll get that dark part out of the way. So I'm using the end that says dark and I'm gonna get the dark here, I'm gonna get the dark here. Yes, I am a lefty. Any of you lefties out here, you know when I teach, um, particularly like calligraphy classes, I'll ask people at the shows, you know, how many are left-handed, and it's usually a really high percentage because we tend to try and be creative and embrace our other side of our brain, right? So I've got the dark here. I'm also going to make this particular fold all in the dark. So I'm just going to just hit it with the dark like this. And again, I'm not hitting those black lines. I'm staying inside the black lines. Now, down below, I also see those little lines. That's the artist telling us that's where the shadow is, the dark part. Here, yes, I do need to color over those lines. So I'm just going to kind of go with the grain here because, yes, you'll get a little bit of a bleed. That's okay. So I'm just laying down a little bit of that dark color. You can see what I'm doing here like that. Now, I'm going to start to do some of the uh, folds. So up against every side every each what am I trying to say <laughs> against every wrinkle I'm gonna put dark I'm gonna do three at a time because I do work in small areas so it stays wet but I still am working you know a little bit of a time so I've got three down I switch to my mid-tone I'm gonna switch to my mid-tone and I am approaching this a little bit different than the original shade I showed you where I did that light dark medium light I didn't put any light down first because this is such a small area it's kind of like there's not a lot of space to work with. You don't really need that white light tone down quite as much. So I did my dark, my mid. Now I switch to my light and I'm going to pull it from my dark through my mid into my light and diluting and eradicating that harsh line and bringing it almost up to the edge here. But see how I leave just a hint of white to make it look a little more natural? So I'm just kind of, you can kind of see how I'm going left to right in quick, harsh strokes to dilute that just like that and please feel free drop a comment if you're just watching and you're not coloring live with me and you have questions I'm happy to answer as quickly as I can just like that you see how I did that super easy should be fun and not stressful this is our hobby it shouldn't be stressful we used to color in kindergarten and then we stopped right because we had to do stuff like math and reading not fun so we should all be coloring so I've got three more stripes here I go into my medium tone medium 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 so I've got two tones I come back to my light and I'm gonna drag it again from my dark through my mid into my light uh, left to right diluting erasing those harsh lines so it looks like a seamless light to dark blend. That's kind of what we're doing. 
And you can hear me being aggressive with that pen tip. That's totally fine. And you can kind of see how this is going. Can we all see this? That looks pretty good, right? So kind of a natural, you've got a little bit of that light in there. So you want to continue doing this for the rest of the cupcake. Once you've got that all colored, you're going to switch it to um, cutting it, fussy cutting it out. If you don't want to, that's fine. I know some people aren't a huge fan of fussy cutting. Um, you want to kind of square that off. You can with your trimmer. But in this case, yeah. And the nice thing, too, about fussy cutting, you can go outside the lines and nobody will ever know because then you can just go ahead and cut off the boo-boo. So you would go ahead and fussy cut. I'm going to skip through this. You keep working at your own pace, finishing this in and fussy cutting this because you will have plenty of time through my presentation as I show you some other stuff and answer some questions um, to continue the project and get it all done in one setting. So I'm fussy cutting with these really nice scissors around the edges. I will get one completely cut out like this. You can either delicately cut out the stem or you could draw it in later if you wish. Now your card base may be either black and white in your kit or it may be craft and white. I think we have a variety going on. Either is fine. You do want to fold your craft or black cardstock and using your scoring tool if you have one, fold that down. And then I've got my white card base here. I'm using my My Stick Runner, which is one of my absolute favorites because it's so easy to use and I can really set the um, the width of the runner in my hand and have a nice comfortable grip depending on how I want to hold it. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this going here. Nothing fancy. It's a card, right? We're not going to anchor it down forever like that. So I've got that. Now I've got this guy. And now if I had a sentiment, I could write, you know, you're special or you're so sweet, something like that. So I'll leave that to you if you want to do that. Um, for the sake of the make and take today, I'll leave him just centered for fun. I've got some pop squares here from 3L. I'm going to just throw those. I happen to have black. It doesn't matter if it's black or white. Nobody's really going to see it. It's on the back side. It's totally fine. So I'm going to pop that off like this. Do to do. And we're going to center him, or as I said, off center like that, and put your sentiment there, or a stamped sentiment, or something you print with your own lovely writing like that. Maybe just kind of like this. There we go. We're all set to go. Look how cute that is. That'll fit nicely in the envelope. That, of course, we gave you an envelope because it's no fun to have a card without an envelope. And that is just a really simple, simple dimple way to color with alcohol markers. So I hope you enjoyed that really quick make and take. Um, pretty easy to do. Hopefully I kind of took the mystery out of coloring. Yes, it does take a little practice, but it's pretty easy to master if you just remember the basic steps of doing your little cupcake. Now, if you liked that little teaser and you want to get more into coloring, let's talk about some of the other things you can do to get into it. We've got a really fun on our website, um, and I should mention, I know the show specials will be at the end and scrolling at the bottom and all that good stuff, but we've got some really great um, specials to get you into markers on our website. Our website is www.shopbecreative.com and in the drop down menu on your mobile device or in the left hand menu on your desktop there will be a category that says um, make a make and take expo with today's date and all the products I'm talking about will be in there to make it really easy for you to find. So one uh, really fun bundle is the uh, try blend try me bundle. So what we've done is we put together, let me grab it here, we've put together um, two sets of six. So that's 12 markers by three shades. So 12 times three, that's 36 shades. Um, and you can pick the set. So in when you select the item, you would pick whatever color sets. There's a ton of sets to choose from. So you can just go through and see what you need. If you like to do flowers, if you need um, skin tones, if you need you know jewel tones, whatever it is, you get to pick two of your own sets. Plus, you're going to get the all-important blender pen, which we didn't really get to talk about, but it's a great way to add texture, to um, take out color if you made a boo-boo, to erase things. Um, that is a great tool. It's kind of a must-have, the colorless blender pen. And you also get a Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, which is clear iridescent shimmer that can go on top of any, any type of thing you've colored to add glitter that you don't 
inhale, it dries, it's down, it's not getting all over your house because once you spill glitter, you kind of have to just set your carpet on fire, it's never coming up, right? So you get these markers, you get this, plus you get three practice sheets supplied by our friends at Spectrum Noir, where you're getting a flower that you get to practice coloring. It's got the one, two, three basics on how to color that we went over to refresh your memory with a little step out to help you. And um, it's done on alcohol marker paper. So even if you don't like the image, you could use the back side. So this whole bundle is at 30, I want to say 34% off of retail or 30%, something like that, off of retail price to save you a bunch of money and get you into it. So that's a great thing. Um, beyond that, you can buy these sets individually, of course, and we have the two massive box sets, which are a great value too. Those are on sale on our website. There's the essential blends, which are the initial colors that first came out. There's 24 pens in there by three shades. So that means it's 72 total shades in this box, more bright and happy basic colors. And then there's the newer box, which is the deep blends, more of a jewel tone, vintage type shades. So these two boxes don't duplicate each other. All told, that's gonna be 48 total shades in the collection um, to get you everything. So that's a great way if you wanna jump big and have everything that you would ever need, whether you're doing people, landscapes, flowers, um, anything, it's all gonna be all in here. Uh, beyond that, we've got the Classics as well. This is also an alcohol marker by Spectrum Noir. Um, it's not the three-in-one pen. It's got two tips, single shades in there. So yes, you have to put the pens together, but like, for example, this particular set, which is the shade and tone, this comes with the blender in there. Plus you get some nice shaded grays, either blue grays or natural grays, plus true black. So this is a great basic set to complement all of your markers. Um, and then you can get fun looks like this. I mean, just really easy, fun things to color. I find coloring to be really relaxing. I like just doing it while I'm, I'm watching TV. And if there's anything we need right now, it's stress release and coloring really does it for me. Oh, and one last thing, um, if you need to store your markers, whether they're TriBlend or another brand, any other brand, this is a really great case and we've got this on special for the crop. It's normally $59.99. We're doing it at the crop for $39.99. It holds 48 markers. Let me get that open. 48 markers. It's Velcro, so it comes collapsed and you just Velcro it together. And then you've got like almost like an artist portfolio. And I've got a variety of sizes of pens in here. So this is gonna hold 48 for $39.99. I think that's like a 34% discount, which is really great. And that, you don't need a coupon for that. That's just on our website as well. So I really uh, appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed the make and take. Um, I really look forward to seeing you in person soon. Hopefully next year we will be able to get together again. But in the meantime, uh, this is really fun. Have a great time. You can visit us online and I'll see you later. So just a reminder that you can use alcohol markers to tint all your embellishments, including ribbon, fabric, gems, metal, everything, and get some great effects with cards like those shown here. Our website has the 50 pack and 20 pack of the alcohol marker cardstock, eight and a half by 11 size. We also have the inks that are suitable for alcohol marker coloring, which are the finesse and the memento. And we also have the colorless blender, blender refill, a great white pen for correcting, and an eraser. All of the TriBlend markers and Classique markers are available on our website, including this really affordable TriBlend marker bundle, which is going to save 30%. You can select the sets that you get with it, and it has everything to get you started. Welcome back, everybody. Didn't I tell you that was a sweet treat, wasn't it, everybody? Sure oh was. my gosh, I know. And it, once again, I have learned so many just techniques just watching her colored the cupcake. I know. I, my I mean, goodness. I mean, oh my gosh. I, I just can't get over it. I mean, this pen, for one thing, I mean, it's three in one, like right. she said. And um, and what I also like about this is, look, it, it's not big and long and, and cumbersome either. You know, very right. easy to use. Right. And, you know, it's funny because Karen being a lefty, you know, she was talking about that. So it might be easier for left-handed people even to use this. So I don't yeah, know, but yeah. So, um, so neat. Yes. I loved all of her tips on shading and 
just that little gram or that little graph that she showed of the box. And yes. How she explained it. it was so was so eye opening. It was so nice to see that because you know a lot of times I, I love to color, but I'm not the greatest of color colorers. Is that a word? <laughs> yes. I know Sean's amazing. Sean yes. is amazing. And, and it um, is still something that I want to do. I yeah. just haven't gone there yet. Right. But. But it's so much fun. And I love, Dave, how, you know, usually this would be three different markers that you'd have to pull out and you'd have to, you know, try to fit. But yes. I love how they added the light, the medium, and the dark. And yes. and how she said, uh, start with light, go to dark, go then to medium, and go back to light. Yes. I mean, it was really really you know yeah informative yeah it really was and she's and a great teacher it, it yeah, she was and and karen thank you for those great yeah, tips for sure you know because you know i i never i guess i never thought of coloring as you know you're literally like mixing paints and everything yeah. and and the way that it spreads out and and you know once again just adds that that to, you know to every project and it was so nice like you said to see how that shading was right um and on the cupcake you know you look at it and and how she showed you like which um, which lines and which ones to make it so you can get that shading, exactly. you know, and and you know, and I'm sure that if you didn't want that shading, you could just do it straight. Right. And, and the tip on you know a stamped image compared to a printed image, you know, the stamped image, you know, wouldn't wouldn't bleed because of that, you know, that uh, two positives make a negative or two negatives make a positive. I can't remember that. It's been a long time since algebra. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, uh, you know, that was, a, you know, a great tip because I, I would yeah. always think that those markers on any surface would do that, but they don't. It, it just exactly. depends on um, what, and I know you really gave, you had mentioned a great tip about the papers, using That's the right papers. That's what I was papers. going to say. You, you do definitely ha want to use the right paper. It'll really help you, especially those that are have trouble like I do be <laughs> coloring. It really helps if you have a fine alcohol-based paper yes. that she showed um, that you could buy, you know, with, from her. Yeah. Because the paper does make a big difference. Yes. You're not going to want to use it on a textured paper or, you know, copy paper right. or whatever. It should definitely be the right coloring paper. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, this is one of those uh, techniques that you wanna make sure that you are like using the right tools, you exactly. know, and you know, in, in projects like the coloring, you know, a, the paper is, gosh, that's like your foundation. That's like, you know, you're painting your house, you right, know, right. you wanna make sure because you certainly wouldn't paint if you had and this is telling my age, aluminum siding, you wouldn't want to paint it with a certain type of paint. You'd right. want to make sure that you have that right paint. So exactly. in this coloring, I learned, you know, I learned that today. So yep. um, just, you know, great tips all around again. Exactly. So. And so this is um, some of that alcohol paper yes. that you, you know, you'd want to use. I know I, it really does make your coloring come to life and make it it looks just better. Oh, that's so, great. That's, that's awesome. Great. So this pen is amazing and I can't wait to see the different bundles. and. Yes. That. Yeah, I know. And she has some great sales coming up. I know. I know. And, I can't wait to see that. And you know, look at uh, three in one. You know, when you get a, a pack of 12 or six or however they come, you're getting three times that number. Exactly. So. Pretty and cool. So Karen's going to show you, talk about her bundles a little bit. And of course, Karen, as we know, she has those great deals on every type of adhesive that you oh, want. My goodness. So yes. you guys get ready because you are going to want to fill your adhesive bin right up. So Karen, show them your adhesive and we'll be back. Hi, it's Karen with Be Creative. I want to show you a few fun things from our website. Uh, we're going to go over our Be Creative bags. We're going to go over some must-have tools and other goodies and we're going to touch on adhesive too i want to remind you that our show special is going to be two different coupon codes on our website our website's www.shopbecreative.com and b has two e's in it uh, one coupon is going to take 20 percent off all adhesives if it sticks it down or takes it back up it's going to be 20 percent off with the coupon code mmt 20 Expo, that's Mega Make and Take 20 Expo, MMT 20 Expo, and then 30% off all stamps and or dies. 
and there's a lot of categories on our website that have stamps and dies in them and we just received some really great new stuff from hero arts too so that coupon code is going to be mmt30 stamp die i had to look i had to cheat so yeah mmt30 stamp die and let's go over some fun things so let's talk about one of our most iconic items at be creative this is the be creative bag a lot of you may have these from shows over the years uh, we've been doing our bags oh gosh for about 12 years now and i'm really proud of them they are us made um, i pick the fabrics myself we switch out the fabrics every so often but really top quality construction um, and they are made about 20 minutes from my house in southern california so they are locally made and hand sewn and let me tell you a little bit about why they're so amazing um, those of you who have owned them over the years maybe drop a comment um, and tell people why you love them these are some of the patterns currently available let's take a deeper look at how they're made i've got one right here so first thing you'll notice is well it's big enough to hold a 12 by 12 storage box easily these are known for not just scrapbooking bags but this is a great computer bag a weekender bag a grandma bag, a diaper bag, all kinds of applications. And as uh, we ladies know, you can never have too many bags. I am guilty. I have so many bags. So um, this guy, as I said, holds 12 by 12. You'll notice first off that it's got that really nice, uh, high quality, thick padded strap. There's a lot of padding on the inside of this. So that's going to save your shoulder. They're really lightweight because there's no added heavy hardware. Uh, so you're just really carrying the weight of the goods that you put into it. But this wide strap is going to make sure it doesn't dig into your shoulder. You can wear it on your shoulder or across the body, across the front of you. Um, and I, being a tall person, uh, this is not too um, short for me. It works just fine. And if you're a short person, I would think it would work just as well because it's kind of a standard size strap, as you can see. Now, on the inside, it's got a nylon lining, kind of like the backpack fabric. So that means it is waterproof and wipeable on the inside in case you have any, any kind of spills. You don't have to worry about it. The outside is top quality cotton fabric, and there's a lot of nice panning, uh, padding, excuse me, the... Um, the fabric is laminated on the inside to kind of reinforce it as well. You'll notice there's pockets here. There's a lot of pockets here, a center pocket. Um, and let's look at one that's fully loaded so you can really get a feel for it. This is probably our most popular pattern right now. This is the really pretty pink bag. I've got a 12 by 12 storage box fully loaded and it easily slips inside there as you can see the center i could put like a paper keeper and put some papers in there as well and then i've got these three pockets i've got a water bottle right now but this could easily fit three bottles of wine if that's the way you roll and i roll that way sometimes too so wine no problem and then on the side we've got this pocket i have like my phone in there you've got another pocket on this side with the velcro just really really utilitarian you can fit a lot of stuff in here so these bags normally at the show are gonna run $59.99 but we've got them on our website right now since we don't have any shows they are $49.99 and as long as you spend $59 or higher we do free shipping so that is a great incentive to add this along with all of your adhesives and other stuff you might need um, if you have a bag just let me know in the comments and tell me what you like about it or how long you've had it what cut pattern you have i've seen some people have kind of customized it where they've added a monogram or um i've had some people kind of take it apart and add other stuff to it just really fun so i love to see over the years how a lot of you have made it your own at be creative we're kind of known for having some of the essential tools uh, and supplies that you need. I want to talk about some of my favorites that have been really popular as of late. If you want to apply the sticky back onto your craft mat, your Cricut mat, any type of mat, like a repositionable tack, because sometimes the tack is not tacky anymore, or certain spots aren't tacky, or um, or it's too tacky, you really want to control the amount of sticky that's on your mats. And you don't want to have to keep buying mats over and over because that can get extremely expensive. So some of my favorites would be Pixie Spray, the Crafter's Companion Stick and Spray, and 
Easy Dot. So Pixie Spray, great for stenciling as well, putting down stencils with a temporary tack. Um, that just has kind of a fun name brand that's been popular as of late. A light tack, repositionable. The Stick and Spray by Crafter's Companion, you actually get a lot more in the can, so it is a better value price-wise. Um, and that, again, if you're going to remove it from a surface, like you have it on your craft mat, just use a baby wipe and wipe it off so you get to control the tack. Another thing you could do is to use repositionable dots like the Easy Dot Runner, where it's going to give you a line of little dots, and that will just roll off with your finger, kind of like rubber cement. So you can use that if you want to apply some temporary tack to either paper that you're going to throw through a die cut machine or your stencils or, again, your craft mat. Another really fun item are the Ink Away Wipes. That has been quite popular, too. It's a great craft cleaning wipe to take... Um, stuff off of your stamps, your hands, all that good stuff. And you know what a fun little happy byproduct of this is? There's actually alcohol and propylene glycol in it, which is the stuff that's in um, hand sanitizer, which has been so hard to find. So that's a really great thing to have on hand. It sanitizes as well as cleans. So those are the ink away wipes that come like that. Um, I've mentioned it before, and it bears worth mentioning again. Undo, my all-time favorite. It takes everything off. It takes um, the sticky out of albums. It takes a bumper sticker off your car, a sticker off of, like a price sticker off of a frame. If you have um, put had a, a small child or grandchild put stickers all over their wall, that'll take it off. It takes off um, wax off of the carpet. It is just an all-around have to have it, absolutely have to have it. Um, that is undue. Another fun thing would be the Tim Holtz Ideology Ruler. This guy is great because not only is it a 12 by 12 ruler, so it's going to take you 1 to 12, but it's a centering ruler. So it's got your 0 down here, so it takes you 6 to 0, 0 to 6. You don't have to math to figure out where the middle is. It's got little um, holes here, so you can go through if you need to mark areas with a small um, skinny pencil as well. So I use this a lot, not just for uh, layouts to figure out where the center is, but when I'm doing any kind of lettering and I'm trying to position something on a card or an envelope. Really great ruler to have. As far as inking, you know, cat's eyes have gone by the wayside. The company that manufactured them actually went bye-bye. Very sad because I love my cat's eyes. So this is kind of my new go-to, which is not new. It's been around and we have sold it. But I, I like this set in particular of the Tim Holtz Mini Distress Inks because, yes, it's a water-based ink, but it's got the very best colors um, for essential inking of the edges and blending. Um, your black soot is just kind of a go-to, but I would say probably the vintage photo is the one I use the most. Um, and then the antique lin linen will actually be a nice uh, lighter shadow that you're doing on the edges. So you get four one by one pads in the set. Really great to have this on hand. Now we can't do much if we are cutting and we are like deckling or what do I want to say? Distressing and we're not cutting. So if you've got any of these cutters or you need a new one, um, you need the blades. So blades are sometimes hard to find. Let's talk about blades for a moment. This is the We Are Memory Creepers 12 by 12 um, cutting apparatus, but it does open up and there's a scoreboard so it'll take you out to 12 inches, which is great. Comes with the scoring tool, comes with an extra blade. There are blades for that. But the Fiskars is probably the most known because it's been around the longest. One thing you need to look at when you're shopping a Fisker refill blade, there's a lot of different trimmers out there. There's um, all different types. Over the years, they've really remodeled it, changed the color. What you need to look at, though, is there's, um, where is it, I versus G. Those are the two different types of blades. Now, your eye blade is going to be your triple track. It says it right here. Triple track is the blade that's going to go on the more newer cutters, where if you look at it, there's an actual track in there. And how you can tell is if you turn this sideways, can you see that? There's like a little lip on each side of that refill. And that lip is what fits in the track. So you have one, two, three tracks. That's why they call it a triple track. Now the very older models are going to be flat and there's no track. Do you see how that's just a flat top with one single track which is the blade in the center. So 
Before you buy a refill blade, make sure you see which type you have and if it needs that three track or if it's just the older model. The older model again is G and the newer ones are an I. And we have both of these on our website right now. Um, another fun thing would be having rounded corners. I mean, back in the day, maybe you had one and you don't know whatever happened to it, but this guy is just really great to have. This is from EK Success. You get two corner rounders in the set, so you get a one inch and a half inch. Really great to add clean, nice rounded corners to your projects. Now, as far as ink, I forgot one other ink that I have mentioned before, and I, I still love this guy. This is that Ranger White Pigment Ink Pad. It is an opaque white, which means it goes on top of dark papers and shows up it's not transparent so it's opaque so it's good on all different surfaces and it is also permanent and waterproof so if you need a, a white ink this is the one you want to have now as far as blending ink a couple options you can do the newer um, nuvo tools like this are kind of fun for more of a like a a non-marked blending where it's like not really hairs and it's not really a sponge it's just a very soft surface that gives you an even blend as you blend a surface for card backgrounds that kind of thing so for example let me grab something come around here I've got like this card has this nice blue blended background that can be achieved even with something as simple as a blending tool like this this is a round blending tool I like round because when we blend we do circular motions and there are refills available for that as well that's a great way to blend another way to apply ink not necessarily blend but just apply ink would be with your sponge dauber I really like this guy this is a full plastic case along with 40 daubers in there you get absolutely everything really great set if you're looking for a really affordable option to get your case and your daubers and these are the little finger daubers that fit on your finger to ink as you can see in the picture there now talking about some other fun things I really like um, as far as keeping paper I love this guy this is a like a paper keeper it's got the gusseted bottom with the plastic on the inside that tucks down in there to hold it open. So this is going to hold your 12 by 12 storage, or sorry, 12 by 12 papers really efficiently, um, crease free, and expands. So that guy's really fun. In addition, there's also the Totally Tiffany, which is a set of three paper pockets, 12 by 12, that come with tabs. So you can mark them. Great for not just organizing your paper, but if you're going to pre-plan layouts and want to tuck them away. So for when you're going to an event, you have your um, particular layout you're going to do ready to go. This is the total Tiffany, totally Tiffany paper pocket. So that's kind of fun too. Um, and lastly, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, the snow marker. If you haven't seen this before, this is just an absolutely must have too. This guy, it looks like a white paint pen. It comes out like a white paint pen. It's got that like uh, felt tip, but it allows you to do, I'll show you here, it allows you to do that puffed up finish as you can see on Santa's beard, not just for snow. Um, so it works for snow, Santa's beard. It works for popcorn, um, foam in your bathtub, bubbles, that kind of thing. Anything where you need a fun texture, the snow marker is it. I will show you how that works really quick. I'm just going to take my paint pan and I can either color or I can just dot, dot, dot like that to get some down. And then I'm going to take my heat tool. Let me see if this reaches. That would be good, right? And I'm going to try not to burn myself doing this. Going to hit that. Give it a second. Just like that. There he goes. And you can see it puffed right up, giving me really fun snow. I could add stickles to that to make that a little more sparkly. And this actually is a great piece of ephemera that's coming from the Tim Holtz. Uh, ephemera pack for Christmas. There's a small and a large and there's lots of goodies in there. So those are some fun things you can use. So let's talk about favorite adhesives a little more in depth. Uh, this guy is brand new for me. This is from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L, which is I would say my favorite brand of adhesive. They have so many different things in terms of paper tape adhesives, 
um, that really work well. They stick because not all adhesives are the same. And this is a very solid brand that sticks every time and doesn't come off over time. So this four pack is a great way if you want to try it out and get acquainted or just have a variety of stuff to work with. This is going to give you the easy runner. These are all disposable, by the way, no refills. So it's going to give you the easy runner that has the white permanent tape with the little, I call it railroad tracks. So that means it'll do a solid line of adhesive, but it'll also fan out and turn the corner if you need it to. And you can do little slivers if you need it for smaller areas, too, by just scooting the roller. And that's a permanent tape. Then there's the Easy Squares, which is pink. It's got the little squares in there, kind of like the old-fashioned paper tabs, except you don't have to peel them. It comes off in a runner. Um, and I believe there's, yeah, 650 squares in there. This guy's for vellum. Very hard to find something good for vellum. Not a lot of stuff works well. Your best bet with vellum um, is to use either a vellum runner like this or to use an all over like sticky dot or a spray adhesive where you're covering the whole surface and you won't be able to see the line of demarcation where the adhesive stops and starts. Um, and this is, would be the case for either acetate or vellum. So I do like the easy runner um, vellum runner. Very nice to work with. This guy's the dots, which is the repositionable dots which can be used to, again, add sticky back onto a cutting mat, or if you just like the ability to pick up and place stuff and move it around, this is the one for you. Also, the nice thing about dots versus solid tape, if you're working with die cut shapes that have lots of little holes in it, your dots will fall through the holes wherever there's nothing to stick to, and that ensures you don't have little uh, like tape hanging over the edge. So this four pack is a really great way to go to kind of have a little bit of everything, um, a little value pack. I believe it's the first item in our adhesives category. And keep in mind all of our adhesives too are 20% off for you with that coupon code. Um, and our show specials, it's either at the bottom there or it'll be at the end. So you can make sure you use that to get 20% off anything in the adhesive category. If you want something that's a bigger gun, not disposable, um, this is my favorite. I've worked with this before. I just want to tell you about that because this is from also from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. These are the big giant guns, which is great because they're lightweight. They're easy to work with. I mean, I know some of you really love your ATG gun and that is fantastic. But for me, they're a little too big and a little too heavy. And when I work with smaller areas like cards, I need to be able to really manipulate it. And this gun is a good size for that. It doesn't jam up on me. Um, there are different guns. They're either the repositionable green dots, the red permanent tape. This is dots that are permanent. It is hard to find permanent dots. And this blue gun is dots that are permanent. And when we're working with this, just so you can see, really super easy. It comes out like this, very, very sticky, as you can hear. And to refill, you're simply hitting the side here lift it up you take this out just like that it pops back on so that means if you're in the middle of a project and you have die cuts and you need the green refill of dots you can do that so the refills that are available are going to include the permanent the repositionable dots and the clear ultra strong transparent which is kind of fun for those those projects like say glitter paper where it's tough to get stuff to stick so that is a great thing to use too another item in there in that category of scrapbook of adhesives by 3l is going to be the my stick either repositionable or permanent i like the permanent let me clear i'm getting messy do you ever get messy i'm sure you do stuff everywhere so i've got this guy here and what's great about him is it's not just that it's a refillable version of the small disposable runner. No, it allows you to, let's break it open and you can take a look. It allows you to have kind of a handle because for me, and oh, it's got this little, see I kind of, it's got this little guy so you can put a picture in here on both sides so you can put your dog, your cat, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but you don't need that. But what's nice is it opens so you're getting kind of like a handle to work with, something to hold on to. I have a lot more control if I've got this gripped in my hand versus a smaller runner where it's just in my fingers. My whole hand can fit on this. I can press the top, open it wider, close it smaller to really perfectly hug my hand, and then it's going to give me the same tape as the other runner. Same deal. 
and you just pop out the refill and pop it back in very easy and it comes in three pack refills or singles so i really like that guy if a big gun's not for you that might be the way to go other options if you like your um, glue arts gun we do have those refills in a three pack of permanent tape and that's a very good value being on the 20 percent off so we've got that we've also got tombow too i know a lot of you love your tombow so we have that and let's see what else have we got i love my glue dots i love my glue dot dispenser my glue dot dispenser uh, comes with a roll of mini dots in there it allows me to put any roll Aside from pop-up, I think that's a little too thick, but either the mini, the micro, the craft, the ultra thin, any of the boxes are going to fit in the suspenser. So you could line these all up on your desktop and be all set. It's got the perforated edge here, so you can just rip off the tape and you're ready to go. You simply squeeze the back and you can put any of the rolls in there. So that is the glue dot dispenser. Very fun. Score tape is kind of a must-have as well. If you want something that's really going to stick, um, score tape, similar to red line tape, I'd say. It's kind of like six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, but I find that score tape, being a paper tape, you can rip it with your fingers, whereas red line tape, you need to cut it. So, And there's a lot more widths of score tape. It goes from eighth, quarter, three-eighths, half, all the way up to almost wallpaper. I mean, there's a lot. I would say the most popular would be um, eighth, quarter, three-eighths, half. Um, and you get a lot on there, 27 yards, but yes, you can rip it with your fingers, which is great. If you're a fan of Nuvo, they've done a number of fun adhesives lately that have been quite popular. They've got a white glue that um, is a clear drying craft glue and very strong. They've also got a glue pen and a little baby tape runner, which is kind of fun. This is going to give you eight meters on there. So not a ton on there, but if you like Nuvo and you like the brand and you know they do good stuff, that's an option as well. So, um, and then of course, speaking of liquid glues, there's always the designer dries clear. This is kind of the go-to if you're doing any kind of paper flowers, dimensional flowers where you're adding glitter. You need something that won't crack, that dries clear and very flexible. The art glitter is it. I will tell you, there is an eight ounce bottle as well that's a refill and the manufacturer of the bottle, not the glue, but the people who make the bottle, I just learned they're gonna be out for like four months because of all the craziness happening in our world. So once I run out of, I have a set of this where you get a two ounce, um, a tip and the eight ounce bottle, the bigger bottle. Um, once I run out, I will be out for a while, but we are bringing in um, a limited number of 16 ounce. So if you really like this glue, that is a humongous bottle and it is a good value on sale. So you can stock up that way, uh, but we will have plenty of the two ounce also. So I hope you liked a closer look at some must have goodies. And just a reminder, our website is always open and you can just wear your slippers. So it's so great. And I look forward to seeing you back at a show real soon. In the meantime, enjoy doing all your make and takes. Welcome back, everybody. What did I tell you? Look at all of those great products. Oh, my goodness. And the adhesive. Oh, my gosh. I mean, every type of adhesive. And it's that good adhesive. It is something that's going to hold up for all your projects that you have. I will tell you, Dave, my sister-in-law and I at the shows, before I even started working for Expo, <laughs> we used to come and we would, like, always have to go to Karen's booth, be creative, to store and stock up on our yes. adhesive. Yes. She always had the greatest um, deals yes. and she shows that she has that still yes. today. Yeah. So yeah. I'm and excited. I know. And you know, and the thing too is Karen just doesn't sell the adhesive. I mean, if you would, you know, contact her and say, hey, Karen, I want to to apply, you know, maybe it's a certain metal or a certain type of button. I'm sure that Karen would, would guide you in the right direction and say, hey, 
this is really the best adhesive for that project. Right. So, so you know, Karen is so full of information right. on those adhesives and would want to make sure that she sells you the right adhesive so right. you'll keep coming back. So, um, so just check her out for the, all for all of that. Uh, and the, we were laughing about how it's so true when she was talking about the bags. We were saying at yes. one time, tell them what the story you said, Dave. Well, years ago, I think it might have been the first year, the first round of shows when those bags came out. I was at our show here in Ontario, California. And somebody was with me and they were asking about, you know, trends or, you know, what are people buying? And I stopped them in the middle and I said, I want you to take around, just look around down every aisle one of our guests or at least one multiples had those bags and and you know you you love storage and bags I do. and and they hold so much and they're you know they have that soft and the bag itself is not a heavy bag it's a sturdy bag right. but it doesn't have weight to start with you know right. because you want to be able to carry around and all, all that the different fabrics goodies. are so pretty too yes so I yes. love that. That was yes. awesome. Yes. Yeah. And and you know and uh, Karen has still you know not only adhesive but the basics like um, the uh, the undo yes. you know that everybody needs. She has the distressing inks. Right. Um, she's carrying the totally Tiffany. I mean, talk about a place where you can, you know if you can go to Karen's booth and get some of that great totally Tiffany product storage products for you know all all your craft needs for sure right um i mean the undo i mentioned um uh oh the centering ruler yeah. that tool that's a great tool um especially you know trying to line things up and like she said it's not just a 12 inch ruler it's literally a centering one because it has that zero in the middle and you work your way out exactly. so um just you know her products you know Go online and check out all of her her great products. Um, the Ink Away. I want those. That, yes, I those love that. Were so I always need wipes, and to know that they have like the disinfectant too in there, like she was yes. saying, like you could just <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, how that was. I really want those. Those are so cool. Um, let's see. She also had the Tim Holtz Distress Inks for inking, and she had yes. that four pack of the colors that are really. You really do use that, like that's probably the the staple yes. in inking edges yep. and stuff. Once again, that yeah. was like a really good yes, one there. Yes. I like yep. that a lot. And also, because uh, we both do an odd over this, that you know, um, the the runner that had the little handle. Yes. Remember that? I that mean, was gosh, that was the my stick. Yes. And that was um, yeah. I love how you could add pictures in it, and yeah, then how cute, how it can yes. open up, like she said. So you don't want the, the big, uh, easy runner grand, but you still want kind of like that handle. Yes. That's the my stick for you. Yeah. That was really neat. Yeah, and, and it's another one of those tools that gives you like more control over where right. you're putting things and everything. And right. what is nice about that is, you know, everybody has a tendency to say, oh, that's my adhesive or that's my, well, you put a picture of you yeah, know, exactly. Big true. Joe, your husband. Oh, is that your husband? Nope, that's my husband. So that's a way to keep track of your. That is so true, right? Oh my goodness. So great. So just oh my gosh. Let me give you the yes, yes. Let me give you the coupon code. So the coupon code for Be Creative is MMT twenty glue, and that's going to be. I believe that is going to be. 20% uh, off the adhesives. Also, she's selling the Tri-Blend 48 marker case, storage case, and that is on sale for $39.99. And also, um, the Tri-Blend Try Me Bundle. So those were the bundles yes. of, those are great the, deals. of these awesome yes. markers that I want. Yeah, three okay. for one markers. Yes, they <laughs> sure. are 30% off right now on in this video. Yeah, so great. it is amazing. You're gonna want and the offer expires on um August third, twenty twenty. So great. you wow. have a, a few days for yes. that there. Yes. Yeah. Well, great. Well, gosh, Karen, thank you so much. Thank Another you, Karen. great presentation. I mean, all those techniques and everything. So we're going to be kind of wrapping things up here, but I know, you know, we talk about our butts all the time, you know, and for those 700 of you that got the special mega make and take button, and I know it's hard for you to see, 
but for those of you who didn't oh my gosh maybe you'll get one in the next one so yeah so but we love our buttons and you know we certainly gosh we certainly appreciate you having it and this is our mega make and take at home button this is Woo! not our show button yes. so you're the first ones to How get this yeah. this is going to be another one of those goodies a collector's item right? in that box yes, yes. when you come and, to the shows in home yes at, when we're back in person yes. you're going to have that cool collector's item button that you know exactly the, that that is probably hard to get yes so yes that's yes. really neat Yes, so enjoy that button. Yes. And gosh, we certainly have had a great time. We have. Been great so to be fun. back at home with you. Yes. And Vicki, you know what? I think let's. Uh, you got to thank our, our presenters again, too. Because have, they were just phenomenal. They were. We love so much creative creations. They were so special. Yes. And the sisters are so I know it's a family them. business. They're wonderful so people. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Inside and out. And yes. They're so nice. So thank you. Creative Creations. Also, it's cheaper than therapy, Maria. Yes. We love you yes. with your beautiful turquoise jewelry. I know. I noticed that too. I love well. it. <laughs> then we love um, Jenny. Thank you so much from Keep It Simple. Yes, Jenny. Always have such wonderful um, projects and so pretty of all the different things. And we thank exactly. you so much. Then Elizabeth Craft Designs, yes. House Elves. Elves, you're yes. so talented. Yes, and you know what, Elves, you need to have your hubby show up because people are used to seeing your hubby at the show. That is true. Yes. And little then, cameo. Yes, and you know, and this is a great way, you know, because we have a lot of viewers now that haven't been to one of our in-person in events. And so, you know, we talk about different things. So at our at-home events, we need to start doing some little cameos. So once true. again, just a great, great uh, couple of people that have just great products and are right. so delightful to work with. Right, and then be creative. Karen, you are just amazing. Yes. You're so, such a good teacher, and that's so nice. Like, exactly. You learned so much. All of our presenters were such great teachers today. Like I yes. said, I learned so much that I wouldn't have, you know, before. I know. So that's what's so nice that I could actually be a part of the mega and be a part, you know, and see all these things yes. and learn. It's yeah. so nice. Learning those um, different tips and yes. once again, different products that everybody right. has. So, right. so we're, we certainly thank all of you. Thank you and so much. Appreciate you being here. Thanks. Our next, now listen, everybody. Okay. I don't know when it's going to be able to be purchased yet, but our next mega make and take is going to be held on August 23rd. So you're gonna to have to keep your eyes open because I don't know when registration is gonna open up. So we want you to keep checking back and remember everybody, two things. One is thank you once again for joining us. And then the next thing is make sure that you are ready whenever that date is to purchase one of these great mega make and take kits. All different projects, by the way. Totally different ones. So you get your finger ready to click, 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 and we will see you at the next at-home mega make and take events. Goodbye, everybody.